Hello, everybody. We're back here. Let's uh, jump back into the grind. Let's jump back into the grind. How's everybody doing? We are going to get back into it. I spent a little bit of time roaming my map earlier. Trying to figure out if we had any of our um, moose going to other lakes. It looked pretty much the same. I found a couple big fours, but I, I think we literally are having the same issue where a few of them just have not respawned yet because everywhere I went looked to be the same amount of moose as it's always been, so... Guess we just gotta wait for them to start respawning properly again. How's everybody doing though? I hope you guys have been uh, enjoying the uh, content recently. Also, what did you guys think of today's video if you've seen it? It was uh, quite a different style of video than what we normally do here. So I really hope that you guys liked it. I had quite a bit of fun recording it with Brobra. It was uh, very interesting to do kind of like an uncut format. Where we just kind of like uh, ramble on about different topics. And uh, from what I've seen, it seems like you guys enjoyed it a good bit, which is awesome. That is the first kill of the day. Let's go. You guys liked it? Okay, that is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you, guys. Won't be able to watch most of the stream because I have baseball practice from 6 to 7. Oh, no worries, Drippy. No worries. No worries, dude. I'm not exactly sure how long we'll stream yet. But uh, it'll be at least two hours. Maybe three. Yeah, that caribou was wild. It uh, it kind of shocked me that we even found something good. Because normally, you know, there's editing in videos, so... You're usually able to hunt for like three or four hours, and then you just edit it down to with all to have like all the trophies, right? But we found that caribou in literally like the 27 minutes that we were recording. So that was pretty awesome. That was definitely awesome. That's a good looking moose right there. That is uh, quite the beauty. Beautiful. You love to see it. You know, I got a good feeling about today, guys. It's been a thousand kills since our last gray one. I think he's got to be close. I definitely feel like he's got to be close unless we get a repeat of uh, the last moose grind. Then, uh, then it could be a while. No, no, no. Don't, don't you dare float all the way. No, I've never had a moose do that. I've never had one float past this spot right here. No, get back here. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. Quarter of the way there, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> I was the first, third one to like the video. Nice, Adam. Are you going to do more red deer grinding? Um, if they add more variation to the great one red deer, then yes. But right now, we've got all the racks for the great one red deer, so I don't need to grind them anymore. Someday we might return, and of course he went over there. We might return someday just to get the uh, Diamond Mela Red Deer, but without herd management, like I, I don't really see that happening, so probably not really going to go back to that grind. Hey Jebba, how's it going? Sounds like a good number to get one? I know, right? See that's what I'm saying, like a lot of moose grinds are 1 to 2,000. Uh, with a decent bit of them being about 700 as well. So I'm really hoping that we're close. We've got to be at this point. We've got to be at least halfway there. How's my day been? It's been good, Sloth. It's been pretty good. Oh, oh, that's a five. <laughs> we're off to a great start, guys. Oh my gosh, we're off to a great start. That is a five right there, but it looks like it's a troll. Not going to lie, that looks like a troll already. I swear, if we spawn a troll... Uh, to be fair though, this is a good sign. This is like the fourth level five... Well, third level five in the last 100 kills, which is definitely crazy good odds. Oh, uh, that's a bad shot there. I didn't even get the vitals. I was zeroed wrong. Oh no. Well, he'll come back. He will come back. In fact... Oh my gosh, there's two males here. Well, hold up. We got extra males here. That is also a good sign. We got extra males here. Missed the hard shot on that one, too. We did get vitals on him, though. Oh, he stopped. Yep, he's zigzagging. All right, well, let's go see if we can grab those two. 
That five should live. I don't think he's going to die from that, so we'll take him out next time we go to this zone. Pretty sure it was a troll regardless, though, so it's not a huge loss if it does die and we never find it. It's the duck game. It is. Actually, to be fair, I think it was just my incorrect zeroing. Did you order extra males? Apparently. We definitely have more males at this lake than we've been getting recently. Which is awesome to see. Oh, there we go. Uh, my perks and skills are in episode one of the beginner series, HQ. In that video, I go through all of them and why I use them. Hey, Backwoods, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Hey, TTK. Hey, Dusky. How's it going? Okay, yeah, that five has not died yet. To be honest, he might run down here. We might get a second shot. I uh, just moose today, Zacky. I, I really want to get one of the variations that we really want. That's like what my goal is set on right now. My focus is on getting either a fabled birch or a two-tone or just any fur variation with a typical rack. If we can get any of that, I'll be happy. There we go. Two more down. What map do I like for Moose? I like uh, Revon Thule the best, probably. But Medved's also a very good option for them. I found both maps to be pretty good. It all depends on uh, what you prefer. In terms of looks, I definitely prefer Revon Thule and reliability. Revon Thule has been really reliable. Medved definitely has the quickest hunting, though, I would say. Like, you can kill them pretty quickly because they're all on flat ground, so you can easily line up hard shots. And all of the water is frozen over, so it's really easy to claim all of the uh, moose on Medved. But I kept running into issues with respawns being weird, so that's why we moved to Rev. But both Rev and Medved are awesome for moose, so either one's a great pick. Yeah, WG, it's great. Rev on Tuli's an awesome map. So good for moose as well. There we go. Now let's go grab that other one. Which is better to grind? Uh, wait, which is better to grind for the great one, Whitetail or Moose? Uh, in terms of like how easy it is, I would say Whitetail's easiest. Just because they're incredibly plentiful. And uh, the grinds are typically pretty quick, like usually sub 2,000 kills. And in a lot of cases, you can kill way more Whitetail in an hour than you could with Moose. So I would say if you're looking for just like the most like fun and easy to grind, it's definitely the Whitetail. But I think the moose grind is a bit more rewarding since there's better variations to the Great One Moose. Uh, not to mention, because it is a little bit longer, it does feel pretty good when one finally shows up. Man, we are not on point with the hard shots today. To be fair though, we're just warming up. We just started the stream. So it's going to be a bit before we're perfect, probably. We got to get back into the groove. Is the beginner map good for Moose? Uh, by beginner map, you mean Leighton, right? Uh, yes, it is. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. It's kind of middle of the road. I believe there's less Moose on Leighton. But, um... I do think that because they're only on half the map, it still makes it about the same as any other grind. You just have to cover less ground. Why don't I use herd man or the Argus? For some reason, I read that as herd management the first time. Why don't I use the Argus? Um, I do use the Argus. It's on my second 300, see? It depends on the distance. If I'm shooting a moose at like 350 yards or meters, I mean, then sometimes I'll bring out the uh, Argus instead. It's all dependent on the situation. I kind of go back and forth. Whatever I feel is going to be best for the job. My white tail grind is 11k kills, been using herd management and have all my zones. 
Jeez, 11k kills. That's pretty insane, man. That's a crazy long grind. 11,000 kills, dude. Jeez, I hope you get it soon, man. I hope you get it soon. Oh, no need to apologize, HD. No need to, man. I have, Duck. I have. And I think it's because, like, two messages down, there was a, uh, a question regarding it. So it just... I, I, like, blended the two questions together. There we go. Uh, not great, but... They'll go down. Both of them should go down. No, he probably did mean 11k, Cole. That, uh, that definitely can happen. I know a few people that have had grinds that were like 7, 10, 12,000. Like, there are some grinds that are pretty ridiculously long. Some people just unfortunately get unlucky. That's RNG for you. All the Wild has a ton of RNG, and that is a very good example of it. What gun is that? It's the 300 Magnum. 300 Magnum is such a good rifle for Moose. Easily my favorite for them. Your first diamond was a Moose? That's a really good first diamond to get, Riker. Like, if I got a Moose as my first diamond, like, I'd probably be uh, addicted to the game for life. I believe my first diamond was a Red Deer, which is another diamond that's, like, really stunning to see, so... I imagine Moose would have roughly the same effect. Wow, he just, like, stepped up the tree a little bit, and I missed the shot because of that. Well, actually... We did get vitals. We just didn't get the heart shot like I wanted. What is the most frequently asked question? Um... Oh, there's a few of... There's a few questions that I get asked at least ten times every stream. Um... Favorite map, favorite trophy, favorite gun, what gun am I using, what map am I hunting? Those are the questions I hear the most. And then, one of the other ones, I hear a lot of the question like, why don't I use herd management? I also hear the question of like, what do I think of it? Like, those are all questions that you see a lot. And also like, what's the, what's the rarest diamond? Do you have all the diamonds? There's a lot of different questions that I hear quite often. Yeah, what did I miss is another one. That's a very uh, frequent question as well. But the thing is, like, all of them are very, like, uh, valid questions because a lot of people may just be joining the channel and they want to know. What's my favorite map? My favorite map is Rev on Tule Coast. You're looking at it right now. This wonderful masterpiece of a map. Absolutely love it. Like, this this map has really grown on me so much over the last month. It's just such a great map. So much variety in species, and some of the best great one grinding in the game. Just overall an amazing map. Hey! I'm getting hit by, by the cows, and our mail is floating. Lovely. You'll love to see it. My gosh. There we go. Okay. Little trick for those of you that haven't seen it. If there's a floater, reset the time and it'll go back to shore. Uh, keep in mind though, it goes to the nearest shore. So like, let's say it floated out to there. It'll probably go over there instead. But if it's close enough to the shore that you shot it on, when you reset the time, it'll just go straight back to where you shot it. Which can be very, very helpful in uh, saving you a little bit of time. If you don't mind spending the, like, thousand cash or whatever to reset the time. Thank you, Adventures with Nolan. I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing great. There's a little male. There's a little feller. Come on. There, now we got his attention. I can't believe we actually got that. I had to, like, uh, move to the side a little bit before I took the shot, and I was really sure that it was going to move before I got there. First map you bought was Quattro. Is that good? Uh, Quattro is a decent map. The thing is, like, I really don't think there is a bad map in the game. Every map has some people that love it and some that hate it. 
certain maps are just loved by more people than other maps. Like, for example, Silver Ridge Peaks has always been a very popular map amongst the majority of the community. But there's definitely a lot of people that don't like it. Most of the time, maps are just personal preference. I like Rev on Thule the most because it, uh, it combines a lot of the stuff I love in the game. The ability to grind for great ones and also the ability to just run around randomly and still have very good success finding trophies. Yeah, no problem. Well, of course. I enjoy uh, doing stuff with Brobra. What map should you go hunt on? How about... How about Tiabaroa? Let's just go with Tiabaroa since that used to be my favorite map and... Ooh, that's a good four. That's a good four. Oh no, Duck. Feels bad, man. Call the Great One Stinky. I mean, like I said, we gotta we gotta reserve that for like special situations, or else it's just not gonna have any meaning. We got it. We gotta save our uh, our great one disses for situations when we're desperate, you know. If we got a respawn here yet, we just shot it, so I doubt it. Yeah, nothing there. Uh, let's get that four that we just killed. Luckily, he didn't float. First diamond was a female Gemsbok. Nice, that's awesome. Female Gemsbok, that's a diamond I haven't gotten in a while. I need to go back to Verhonga and hunt some Gemsbok. It's been a bit since I've got a diamond one. And that used to be something we grinded for a lot. Where's the five? We're heading over to its lake shortly, Jake. We messed up on it uh, the first shot, so. Unfortunately, it's probably a troll, so it doesn't really matter, but. We got to go over there and uh, find it again. Ma'am, stay out of the way. There we go. I appreciate the cooperation. Nice, JJ Sports Clips. Uh, what type of piebald? Are you talking about like moose or whitetail or what species do you have a couple piebalds or just in general? First diamond was a 1k rabbit. Oh, are you talking about back when they had the 1 to 1,000 scoring system? That's pretty awesome. Uh, RZB Brace, thank you so much for the uh, membership renewal. Welcome back. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you are doing super, super amazing. Imagine looking at Scarecrow grinding moose at the same time that you're grinding whitetail and both of you are on Rev on Thule. Holy. That's like grindception right there. I mean, not really grindception. I guess that's the wrong word, but side-by-side -side grinds? Loving it. Got to do a bit of fencing. Have a good hunt. I'll be back later. All right, Duck. No worries, dude. Thank you for dropping in. Absolutely hate for Honga and other people love it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could have the most loved or most hated map in the game. And there's going to be a lot of people that disagree. Just uh, kind of how it is. And honestly, it's the beauty of uh, having so many maps in this game. There's plenty of variety. Uh, yes, guy. 1,000 scoring meant max score back then. So back then, it was like 950 was the minimum for diamond, right? Yeah, there's our five. There's our five. So yeah, the minimum for diamond back in the day was 950, and anything that scored above 950 would be a diamond. And then 1,000 was max score, and that worked for every single species. So it was like a universal scoring system that was across all of the animals in the game. All right, let's go for this again. There we go. That was much better right there. So was that one. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. We got all three down. Love to see it. Yeah, I can pretty much guarantee he's going to troll. 100%. I, I couldn't see this one making it. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? You're going to say 271? Yeah, it's probably going to be around there. Maybe even 260s, to be honest. I got a feeling it could be 260s, which is going to be sad, but... You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. All part of the grind. 
I haven't had a diamond in over 200 kills, so if this guy doesn't make it, uh, it's gonna be sad, but it's kind of expected at this point. I think we're gonna be notorious for getting lots of level fives and none of them making it. Hello there, big boy. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's not making it. That looks very trolly to me. Oh, he made it! Oh my gosh, 277! Let's go! Oh my gosh, he actually made it, guys. That, that absolutely blew my mind. I thought for sure this was a troll. Oh my gosh, he made it! That was a shocking diamond. Yeah, he made it, Sonaldo. I actually don't really have a lot of diamonds with the big brows like this. I'm taxing that guy. It's not often you get this rack to make diamond, I don't believe. Jeez, that's crazy. Look at those brows, man. Those brows are insane. That's a crazy looking diamond moose. Honestly, I kind of like this better than some of the bigger diamonds. I really like the way this one looks. Like, these giant, uh, brows are just crazy. That is pretty insane right there. Well, that was awesome. That was really awesome. Did you guys think he was gonna make it? It seems like a lot of you thought it was gonna troll. Gotta be the front paddles. Yeah, but I've had a lot that had those same paddles right there. Like, I've had so many with the same type of paddles that didn't get even close to making it. I think what it was, it's probably the width. Probably the width of the palms or possibly just the, the spread of the palms. I'd say it's pretty likely that's the reasoning for him making it. Because I've definitely had that rack troll quite a bit. There, he should go down. How to get a lot of money? Just shooting a lot of animals one shot kill. Um, if you want to, you can prioritize animals that give more money, like lions, uh, mountain lions, red deer. If you really want to, like, uh, maximize the amount of money you make. I have a lot of money from just doing a ton of Great One grinds. Especially with the red deer grind. Red deer give an absurd amount of money for how plentiful they are. You can shoot just literally tens of thousands of cash worth of red deer in a couple hours. Definitely recommend it. Yeah, I definitely see a lot more diamond fours than fives as of recent, Jack. Definitely a lot of situations where the fours make it more than the fives do. Oh yeah, I gotta update the diamond counter. There we go. 22-11. Beautiful. Nothing here this time. Up to this beautiful lake now. How many zones am I grinding for Rev? Uh, not a lot. Let me look. I haven't actually counted them 100%. So we got one, two, three. I don't think I'm really hunting this one though. So it's basically two there, three... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's usually a ninth that pops up over there. Um, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen, because we sometimes get a mail there. Fourteen, fifteen. So yeah, it's like fifteen zones. Roughly fifteen zones is how many I'm hunting at the moment. No great one here. There's a little level three, though. Uni little feller. Shot the big wreck whitetail at level five. That's crazy, Jared. 
That's very low level to be getting a, a big rack. Very lucky. Ah, you turned the wrong way. Nice. I was going to say, he keeps stopping so perfectly behind the brush that it's just making it so hard to get a shot. But he finally moved out. May the luck be with you. Hopefully. Hopefully we will have the luck to get that great one today. The last time that we got a great one, it was like on the second run of the day. So maybe we can repeat that. Maybe we can get it this run right here. Oh, there's a male. That's a male too. Beautiful. Hey, catching it with Cooper. We got a diamond level five. That has been the only thing that we've got so far. Do not float. Stop it. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> no floating allowed. Am I an OG for Call of the Wild? Uh, I played before the game even released, so yes, I guess so. I played back during a uh, beta that they did for a while. Back in December 2016. And then when the game released in 2017, I played it for maybe a month or two. And then didn't play for quite a while just because there wasn't a lot of content when it first released. The game was in a pretty bad state on launch, so I didn't play it a lot back then. Uh, back when they released, like, anytime they'd release a map, I'd jump back on for a little bit. So, like, the Medved release, the, um, uh, what's it called? The Medved release, the Verhonga release. Like, I'd play anytime they'd do a new map. But I didn't play it super, like, consistently back then. And then they announced, uh, Lodges. And that's when I really got back into the game. When they announced Trophy Lodges, that's when I started playing again. And then they announced uh, True Racks. Which was, you know, the antler system that we know now. That uh, randomly generates the antlers, makes them move in different directions and look weird. Like that system was kind of what really got me heavily into the game. Because then trophies actually looked different from each other instead of all being the same. Oh, that's unfortunate, Ferris. It happens, though. You'll definitely find more diamonds if you continue playing the game. It, it is inevitable that you will eventually find more diamonds. Just gotta not give up, you know? Uh, Alexander, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I changed my name. Uh, what was your name previously, then? But thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I really appreciate it. No mail here. Huh. Unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Well, let's do a quick little reset. We actually might be... I, I don't know if I've main menued since we were at this zone last. All my whitetail zones are messing up, and I don't know why I only kill two if there's four DR on Revel and Thule. My zones are not consistent, and I'm using herd management. Have you have you hunted the entire map? I'm assuming if you're doing herd management, you probably have hunted the entire map. Because something about whitetail is they're going to be inconsistent for the first few hundred, maybe even couple thousand kills. You have to, like, hunt all the herds, like, heavily before they'll start being consistent. It was the same with this moose grind on Rev. Um, oh. Hey, buddy. I had to... Oh, that was a hard shot. Oh, my gosh. I had to hunt them quite a bit to get them to be consistent. It wasn't an instant thing. Uh, that's just kind of how it is. I don't know why it's like that, but the more you hunt them, the more animals kind of seem to settle into places and figure out where they want to be. And then you'll start seeing a little bit more consistency. Oh, I've been bouncing back and forth, Johnny. I still have some of my guns with the Easter stuff, but I like this one right here. See, 
My 22 has the uh, Easter skin on it. But for this one, I decided to go with some more like uh, realistic looks. Then the uh, the Glock, I love this look right here. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. We're definitely seeing a lot of big fours today and then that one five, so maybe this will uh, have, maybe this will bode well for the rest of the stream. Maybe today will be the day that the great one steps out to play. There we go. Now I'm going to back up and see if the other male didn't render in because we used to get two males here and then it started being just one. I don't think there is another here though. I think we did lose that respawn. Oh yeah, of course, Jack. If I find a great one on stream, we're shooting it on stream. Oh, there is another. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was just in a different zone than I was expecting. Holy. <laughs> just out of nowhere. Hey, no, don't float. I fast travel and you start floating. That is the rudest thing a moose has ever done to me. Stay. <laughs> Silly moose, man. Do grinds from other maps carry over? What do you mean, Landon? What do you mean by do grinds from maps carry over? Because I I see a few people ask that question every once in a while, and I'd like to know like what you mean by that. Like what do you mean by does progress from other from grinds on other maps carry over? No, it doesn't reset Landon because there's no such you're not grinding like you're not progressing to a great one You're shooting animals until one respawns is a great one because respawns are a random spawn They can spawn off of literally anything you shoot. There's no such thing as like a Progress towards a great one. The only progress there is is like setting your map up Setting your map up is the only type of progressing there is so like shooting them doesn't like get you like shooting a bunch on a specific map won't get you closer to a great one on that map it's just a matter of shooting a lot of that species until they spawn a great one because at the end of the day it is a random respawn from the males that you shoot so you don't have to worry about like going to another map like resetting anything because there's nothing to reset besides like tents your tents and your uh the zones you found is the only thing that you'll have to search for again, right? Like, uh, they're, they're still, your great one will still spawn whenever it was wanting to spawn. So hopefully that helps. I mean, like right here on uh, Rev on Thule, we switched over and we got a great one in 300 kills after switching. After hunting 4,200 kills on Medved with nothing. How to get more diamonds to spawn? Uh, just shoot the big males and don't shoot the small males. That's essentially how you can get more big males to spawn. Later, JJ. Thank you for dropping by, dude. Really appreciate it as always. Alright, these ones are not at their zone. Do a quick little reset and we'll see if we can get them over here. How many kills am I on this grind? This grind right now is about a thousand. A little bit over a thousand probably at this point. Alright, we got three moose here once again. I love to see how consistent this zone has been. It's been consistently three males pretty much every single run. Too low. Ugh. I can never hit that long shot. This is the shot I always mess up on. I don't know why, it's always that shot. Can I shoot through the tree? Yeah, I hit him. 
Wasn't a good shot, but I hit him. That's actually kind of crazy that you can shoot through that tree. I've noticed that some of those trees, when they're like swaying back and forth, it's almost like their hitboxes don't exist. I've checked everything on Medved, Simon. I was very thorough with it. I don't do any of the checking on stream though, because it's really boring. But yes, off stream I have checked a lot of the uh, the map on Medved. Yeah, apparently, Johnny. Apparently. Is there any different fur types or racks for the Great One Red Deer? Uh, Red Deer has four different racks and only one fur type. Which is kind of why I don't hunt the Red Deer Great One anymore. Because uh, there's not really anything left to grind for. Where'd this moose go? He ran that way, didn't he? Yeah, he definitely ran this way. I feel like I remember him running over here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I uh, just hunt the left side, Dustin. It's pretty easy to find them on Layton, just the left side of the map. And you should find uh, tons of whitetail. There's another four. Guys, we haven't had a rare in like 900 kills. Isn't that just absurd? It's been like 900 kills since we had a rare. That has to be the longest we've gone without a rare moose on any of our grinds. That's crazy. Uh, yes, King Elk. There's been one albino great one whitetail killed. And then there's been about six or seven fabled piebalds. That have been uh, confirmed to be legitimate at least. And as of now, nobody has legitimately killed a melanistic great one whitetail. At least that we know of. Nobody's been able, nobody's posted one at least. Doesn't mean that there couldn't be like somebody that's got one and just doesn't use social media. But uh, as as of now, there's been no melanistic great one whitetail posted that were legitimate. There was one cheater a while back that posted one, but everybody found him out immediately. Come on, where's the male in this group, huh? Been a while since I've had a male here. Where he at, though? Apparently not there. Yeah, Adam, I do. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Especially moose. Like, moose just move a lot. I have noticed that for sure. No mail there. Not what I like to see. Where's the males? Definitely feels like some of our males are just not showing up. Yes, Anton, I do. Oh, you did, Connor? No, Medved kind of broke for us, 610. Medved broke. And so I just was unable to continue grinding it. We lost over 25 male moose from our main zones. And then they came back one day, just out of nowhere. And now they've started dwindling down to nothing again. So yeah, there's something drastically, like, terribly wrong with Medved's moose for me. And so it was just not possible to continue grinding there. Back it up, hoping I can see some more males, because it's a little concerning there's only one male here now. Moose definitely have an issue where they just uh, 
slowly lose males. Let's hope there's another male hiding in the trees. We're supposed to have two here. You know what's crazy? We used to have like five or six here. We had five or six of them there for the first thousand kills, and then it's just dropped down to one or two the last couple days. Crazy. What do I hunt in real life? Uh, in real life, just blacktail deer primarily, and then I've gone out for elk a couple times. Never had luck with any of them, though. I don't know, Will. You should probably ask him. He's got a, uh, a Discord for a reason. He would know better than I would. Are you or anyone here experiencing crashes? I'm not personally, Josh, but I know some people are. I've only crashed one time this entire update, and it was when I was switching to Yukon to take some screenshots. Really, bro? That's the tree that blocks? There we go. It's just one male. It might just be one male there. That is so weird, guys. We only have two males of this entire lake, and normally we have a lot of them. Ah, he's floating. There we go. Boom. You know, part of me is wondering if maybe we need to do a full game reset. I've always wondered if doing a full game reset will uh, help the respawns more than just going to the main menu. Always kind of wondered that. At this point, I'm willing to try anything because, uh, as you guys are seeing, we're slowly losing males. Actually, at this point, it seems like it's at a pretty fast pace, in fact. There's only one male at this zone. Yeah, Maximus, but I normally have a lot of moose at a specific time. Like, that's why I reset the time quite often. Because uh, if they're not in their zone, you can just reset the time while you're at the zone, and it will put them into the zone. And we're just not seeing a lot of males. That It's just not a lot of males. Like, the females will get there, but no males. Which usually means they haven't respawned, or they went somewhere else. It's hard to say, Smash, probably. I'm sure there's somebody out there like that. I'm sure somebody's managed to do it. I'm playing on Revon Tuli Clo Close? Close? Revon Tuli Coast. 800 DF30, how's it going? Yeah, definitely, Lamont. Now, there's definitely a, there's a couple of things that can happen, right? There is the situation where animals just don't respawn. But most of the time, they're just moving around the map. Like, I've, I've had quite a few grinds where they were just moving around the map, and I found where they had moved to. But uh, Medfed, we were able to verify that they weren't respawning because we never veered off of our main zones. We had about 30, about 30 male moose, right? Let's restart the game. We had about 30 male moose, and... So we just kept hunting, right? And we were slowly losing them more and more. We went from 30 to about 8, like around 8, in just a couple of days. And then they all came back. After a couple of days of struggling through only having like 8 of them in the zones. We got about probably 15 of those back. So we went from having 8 up to like, you know, 20, 25. And so in that situation, it was very clear that they just weren't respawning. 
and that they something triggered them to all respawn at the same time. And then uh, it started happening again on Medved, where we were slowly losing all of our respawns again. And that's when we switched to Rev on Thule. But I, I fear that that's happening on Rev on Thule as well. Because I, I went around the map today and hunted all of the lakes that aren't in my main rotation. And there wasn't any extra herds. Like, I only found like one or two new zones. There was only one or two new zones in the rest of the map that I hadn't already discovered in like uh, like these areas right through here. So I don't think that they're moving. I think they are just not respawning once again. And if that is the case, that is very concerning. Because I think that would mean that it's a moose problem and not a medved problem. And if it's a moose problem, then no matter where we go, we're going to have to struggle with this. And we don't got males there either. I'm definitely not going to play New England or Yukon for moose, Jake. I, I just cannot bring myself to hunt all that water. That water's just wild. Where's our male here? Oh, hey! Oh my gosh, that's a five! Hello! <laughs> that's gotta be a troll. That's gotta be a troll. Could you imagine if we see a great one just walking over the hill like that, like this guy is? Holy. Well, that's awesome. Big boy level five. It's definitely a, tro a troll, though. Look at how uneven he is. There's no way that he makes it. It's also possible that this one hasn't rendered in, so I'm going to back up a bit. Because I think that guy's going to go to a different zone. I think he's going to go to the zone next to it. Hello, ma'am. I just guess, Trey. I just estimate based on how much I can kill. There's that big boy five. Come on in, big guy. Maybe he is from this zone, actually. Maybe he is, because that guy's not coming back. You know what? As long as we get some fives, I, I don't mind having less moose to shoot. It's just... It's just unfortunate that we're losing moose respawns. Because I was hoping moving to Rev on Thule would get rid of that problem, but... Looks like it's still happening. There we go. Ooh, he's taking a bath. That guy just took a bath. What's the most dangerous animal in the game? Most dangerous animal in the game is probably Cape Buffaloes. Yeah, basically, Johnny. Moose are just bad with respawns. And it makes me wonder if it's a thing with other species, too. Moose are the only one where we've actually been able to verify that that's a thing. As of now, moose are the only species that we've been able to verify that they are not, like, respawning. Because they eventually did end up all coming back at once. I've never been able to verify that with other species, though. That's definitely a troll. No way that this thing makes it. Oh, ew! That's the worst troll of my life. I've never had a 257 before. How does that even happen? How does that even happen, guys? 257? No way. I, I'm in disbelief. That is disgusting. That's terrible, man. That is such a bad troll. Oh, man. Call the Wild's really just messing with me at this point.
On the dot would mean that you guessed it perfectly, Bobby. So it wasn't on the dot, but you were very close. You were very close indeed. Man, what a troll. What a terrible troll, dude. Hey, Jaden, how's it going? When am I going to grind Whitetail again? We might do it soon. And now that we've seen more Fabled Piebalds show up recently, it does make me want to try and get a Fabled Piebald. Which I know that's like virtually impossible, but it's, it's something to grind for. It's a long-term goal that I can have. Gosh, these moose are just being very stubborn. We've got a couple fives on the day though, so I can't, can't complain. But I wish that most of my moose would come back. Cause I mean, uh, we just started the, uh, the stream like an hour ago almost and already 50% of the ones we've shot did not come back immediately. It's possible they're just slightly delayed, but still makes you worry, you know, especially with what we've seen on Medved definitely makes me worry. Hey, uh, Firefly games. I'm doing good. I am doing pretty good. A little bit high, but that was definitely lung. How do you tell if your moose is a troll? Uh, there's a couple ways. Certain racks just can't make diamond. Um, another way is the score estimate. And what I've seen is most of the time, if it's a wonky one where it's like two different antlers, they usually troll. They can make it, but usually it's a troll if they have uh, two different antlers. Grinding Whitetail found 10 level threes in one run and all of them were trolls. Am I doing something wrong with my grinder? What is happening? Um, are you doing herd management or are you just shooting everything, Liam? Yes, yeah, I mean, out of 12 games would be so good. That's my most wanted shotgun easily. That'd be so cool. Shooting everything? 10, okay, 10 trolls in one run with just shooting everything is insane, Liam. I wouldn't say you're doing something wrong. I'd say you're doing something right. That's, that's a lot of level threes. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. That is strange that all of them trolled, though. I will say that. That is quite strange that all of them trolled. Oh, I spooked him off. Okay, we're going to have to probably main menu, then reset the time. What map is the best for the Great One Whitetail Grind? Leighton Rancho or Revon Tuli? Uh, Leighton and Revon Tuli are very comparable to each other. They're just different styles of hunting. Uh, Leighton Lakes is a bit more brushy, but you only have to search half of the map to find your whitetail. Uh, Revon Tuli, they can be pretty much anywhere. However, ooh, that's a nice four. However, they are in much more open areas. There's not as much brush blocking them. Gosh, how did that miss the heart? It must have hit to the right because he was trotting. I feel like that should have been good though. That one was good. I'll take that. How do I do my rotations? Uh, what do you mean HD? Like, I mean, I just, I just hunt the same 15 zones in the same order. Not really anything else to it. Oh, we got a moose there again. Okay, some of the respawns are coming back. They might have just been a little delayed. It might be that maybe we're just not killing enough per run because we have had some disappear to where it's taken a little bit longer for the respawns to actually work. As I have noticed that with some species, especially like moose and whitetail, sometimes like if you only kill five in a run, they won't respawn until you kill some more. 
So I'm wondering if we just haven't been getting enough per run to get them to respawn the very next run. It's almost like they're a run delayed each time. Maybe that's what's going on. But I mean, it's all just speculation because I'm kind of just guessing based on what I'm seeing. Would you recommend Medved or Revon Tuli for Great One Moose? Um, both are really like equally good, man. Whichever one you would want to be grinding on. The way that I look at it is Medved and Revon Tuli are both very, very good. From what I've seen, they're very comparable in how efficient you can make a grind. And so I'd really just base it off of what map you would like to be on for a grind. Like, you're going to be on the map a lot if you're grinding. So you got to make sure that it's the map that you like the most. The map that you could grind without getting tired at look of looking at the scenery. For me, I definitely like the look of Revon Tuli better than the look of Medved. So Revon Tuli is definitely my, my choice out of those options. Just because of how pretty the map is. Okay, the four should be over here. There it is. Beautiful. Now let's hope this respawns back. Because it's been two runs since we've seen a male down here. How many diamond moose do I have? Um, well, after the one that we just got, let me pull up my grinding sheet. Uh, 91. 91 diamond moose in 6,700 kills. Mm, still no mail here. No mail here still. Unfortunate. Adam, thank you for the 21 months, dude. Holy, welcome back. 21 months, that's crazy. You're getting real close to two years. Really close to two years. Yeah, that zone's just got two. So, that brings up the question, where did that mail go? And why is that moose spazzing out? <laughs> That's the other question we got now. Hey, that's a big four. That is a pretty good looking four. We're getting a lot of big males, but we have way less of them showing up. Doing a whitetail grind got four diamonds in 419 kills. Not too bad. That seems to be about average. I've noticed the average is about a diamond every 100 kills for a whitetail grind. <laughs> Trying to grind for a great one moose. Should I only farm a few zones or all of them? What I would do, this is what I do on any of my grinds is, and this seems to work out pretty good. I hunt the entire map for the first few like hundred kills and as I'm hunting all of them all the different zones I kind of just pay attention to which zones get their respawns quickly and uh, which ones lose their respawns which ones always seem to get the same amount of male moose and I just kind of keep track of how efficient they are and then the zones that always get their males back, those are the ones that I start making my primary zones. Like right now I hunt 15 zones and it's just the 15 that are producing the same amount of moose repeatedly. Another thing to keep in mind though is like sometimes on a grind you will have to move the grind or not move the grind, but move to different lakes depending on like situations that happen. You might have some that dry up eventually. It can be kind of tough to uh, pick out the zones. You got to just hunt them until you find the ones that are nice. No males over there. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't like what I'm seeing at all. We are literally losing males in front of our eyes, guys. I might have to add a couple more lakes into the grind. I might have to add a few more lakes into the grind because this is getting pretty bad. I need to have some moose to shoot. Um, I know for a fact there is a couple moose at this lake, so we could maybe use that one. There's also a few at these zones. 
I checked this like earlier and there is no males there. So they haven't gone to any of the nearby's. Oh, uh, it's a four. It's a four. I saw those big antlers and for a second I was like, great one. Nope. Just an ugly four. Where are the moose zones at? The entire map, HD. All of Revon Tuli is where the moose can be. Every single body of water on Rev can have moose. Caught two bluegill on my fly rod today. First two fish of the year. Nice, Shadow Lord. That's awesome. Do I like the white tail great one? Oh, I love the white tail great one. That's why I've got 20 of them. I, I've grinded, grinded them an absurd amount. Because I, I enjoy them a lot more than the other great ones. Though recently, moose are starting to uh, grow on me a good bit. Uh, C-shaped lake on the eastern border. Okay, let me look for that real quickly. This one? Yeah, I hunt that one very heavily. Oh, C-shape. This one right here. So you got it like right here? I didn't know moose could... You know what? We might need to check this like... Yeah, we might need to check these. Yeah, I haven't checked those yet. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. We might have to go over there. I've never been to those lakes. There might be something there. As you guys can see, I've kind of gone like through this area. Um, a lot of these lakes didn't have moose for me. Uh, this spot didn't really have them either. But these areas might. We might have to go check that. We had a moose zone there and one here. Yeah, we'll have to check that. We will have to check that. I got to find a spot where I can remove one of the tents though. Because I want to have a tent with me in case we do find some good stuff there. You have a bunch of moose at that, at that lake, Johnny? I guess we got to check it out then. If you guys are saying it's good for moose and I've never been there, got to go check it out. We could be missing out on some big males. All right, no mail. Sometimes it's just hidden, but it looks like there literally is none here. What about over here? Nope. Man. What has happened to this lake? So many of our amazing lakes are just drying up. So rough to see. You know, a great one would make me feel uh, a lot better, though. So uh, if you could just step out, Mr. Great One, that'd be lovely. Not a male in sight. Yeah, something, something weird's happening, guys. I think we'll definitely have to... We'll definitely have to go to some other zones if this keeps up. Like, this is just absurd. I mean, you guys have seen how many we've lost just this stream alone. This is literally Medved all over again. This is a repeat of Medved. And that, that scares me. If this zone doesn't have a male, then that's the bad news right there. No males. Ah, uh, man. Oh, man. You hate to see it. I think, I think this is Medved all over again. I think this is Medved all over again. I think we're literally losing respawns in front of our eyes. Yeah, only two here. And oddly enough, it's two solos. We didn't get a respawn back for this herd. Oh, please don't tell me. No, killing the females does not help. I can confirm. I've done that before and it didn't help at all. All it did was make the females and males move around more. Which is not what I really want them to do.
We tried shooting the females on Medved. I also tried shooting a bunch of other animals, and that didn't help either. I wonder if this is the game, like, uh, maybe they have a system that, like, knows if you're only hunting a certain area, and it, like, is trying to get me to hunt the rest of the map. I wonder if that's a thing. Maybe there's a system in the game that encourages, like, hunting more of the map. So hard to say, though. Guys, we've been to the main menu multiple times, and we've also restarted the game already. It's, uh, none of that is helping. This is the same... If you guys haven't seen, this is the same problem that happened on Medved. Medved, we literally lost... We went from 30 moose in our zones to less than 10, and then they all came back at an instant one day. One day, it was like they never even disappeared. They all returned to the zones. And that happened three times on Medved. So, this is, it's not like this is something that hasn't happened before. I've seen this happen before with moose. And from what I can tell, this seems to be the same thing. You returned to the zones. I did, Caitlin. I did return to the zones. But the moose didn't. Because they're rude. Rude moose. The rudest of the moosest of all the moose. There's a male there. Oh, okay, two males here. That's good. That's good. We got two males here. He put his head down. You stupid level three. How dare you? How dare he do that? Nice, uh, Toxic Fate. Unfortunately, uh... Piebald Ducks aren't really very rare. They are cool, though. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not really rare. Alright, so we're gonna remove this tent because I could just ATV over here. Uh, this herd doesn't render in until I get to about this tripod, so... We could easily ATV over and just not drive far enough to spook them, so let's make sure we got some space freed up. Okay, we already got the tents in there. Actually, let me see if I can... Do I have room to place it already? Do we have any tent slots available? No. Okay, so yeah, we gotta pick this up. Oh well. Let's go check out this area over here. Because you guys were saying that this area is loaded with moose. Maybe we'll find a bunch of moose there. Do I care about realism in Call of the Wild? Not really, Ibby boy. I mean, to an extent, I want it to be somewhat realistic, right? But I don't want it to mimic real life 100%. Otherwise, it just wouldn't be fun. Part of the reason that Call of the Wild is such a popular hunting game is because if you want to, you can kill like 40, 50 animals in an hour, sometimes even more. Or you can just walk through the woods and shoot whatever you see. I think Call of the Wild has the perfect balance of realism and arcade gameplay. Like, it's got it's got a good balance as is. It's part of the reason why it's so, like, uh, popular amongst a wider audience of people. Moose? Where are you guys going? You just want the guns to be realistic? Oh yeah, Johnny, me too. I think the weapons could be more realistic. But in terms of the actual gameplay loop, I kind of like it how it is. I, I do wish they would kind of take a look at the respawn system though and maybe tweak it a bit. I think that's really the only thing I would change about it is change the, uh, the respawn system and the weapons. Like, make the weapons have a more realistic range of animals they can take. Make a... Uh, the guns, like, have their real-life power, like the 223 needs to be buffed, along with a bunch of other guns. Ah, yes, Hayden. I love those, uh, those, uh, flying moose. 
Love them. And the flightless pheasants that kind of just stare at you, you know. Given that actually is kind of realistic, but not quite to the extent that they did with these pheasants. They should wait to flush until you get close to them, but Call of the Wilds kind of just stand in front of you for like 30 seconds, which isn't realistic. <laughs> they just kind of let you follow them along closely for ages before they fly. There's a lot of little things in Call of the Wild where they did a good job of making them pretty realistic without making it like perfectly true to life. Gotta love it, creative. Where's the moose grind on Medved? We stopped doing Medved. Oh, where's the best place? I didn't I didn't see the previous one. Where's the best place to do a moose grind on Medved? The whole map, Bone. You have to search the whole map to find where your zones are. They can be anywhere, and so everybody's map, they're placed very differently. And they also move a lot as you hunt them because there's a lot of solo moose. So if you're shooting solo moose, they're going to move every single run. Um, which is why I try to make my main zones herds because herds are more reliable. Uh, Hefty Lefty Timmy, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Do you have any ways to get a great one whitetail quickly? There's really no way to get them quickly, Hefty. It's just a matter of shooting males until you get a great one to respawn. Uh, as far as we can tell, there's no way to make a great one spawn faster. No, like, provable way, at least. Oh, we got a moose here. Oh, there's a four, too. Oh my, oh my gosh, there's five moose already. <sighs> you guys may have been right. Maybe I should have been hunting these lakes. They seem pretty good. I don't know why I haven't checked these lakes before. Now these are in herds though, so it's definitely not our missing moose. Because these are, these are full herds of five. So it's definitely not our missing moose. These are definitely ones that uh, have been here since the beginning. Good to know there is a zone there though. If there's more up here, we might make this into a main zone. Yeah, definitely, Sinaldo. Although I always really enjoyed the like uh, strategy of herd management. That was one of the reasons that I was drawn to it at first. Because it, there's a lot of strategy involved, like strategizing, like planning things out, um, adapting to like changes that happen in the grind. That's why I really loved it when we were doing it. Like I've said before, the only reason I stopped doing it was because there was so much arguing between sides. People were literally ending friendships over it. And so I just didn't want to be around that part of it. But uh, I always enjoyed doing it. What, in your opinion, is the best skill and best perk? Oh, man. I don't even know. There's so many perks and skills that kind of go hand in hand with each other that I can't really, like, live without one. I don't know. There's Yeah, there's just too many perks and skills where you need, like two or three of them to go together to get the effect you want, so... I mean, I guess for a skill, I would say the... The Disturb Vegetation. That's probably my favorite skill. I feel like that one is, like, such an amazing skill to have because you can pick up the Disturb Vegetation tracks and immediately know what the fur type of an animal is. I do feel like that one is, like, a necessity. Love the Disturbed Vegetation skill. And for perks, I mean, Zero Wing's really good, but I mean, Recoil Management is also... For a grinder like myself, Recoil Management is such an important uh, perk to have. And then Sight Spotting's also a good one. Like, with the perks, I feel like there's more of them that are just... Well, actually, Sight Spotting was a skill. It's all personal opinion, KML. If the developers haven't said it is, then I don't really think it is. And I've said before, it doesn't seem to, uh... If it was... If it was something that they actually cared about, they would have got rid of it. They would have got rid of it the second that it started happening. 
But we're not going to get into it because we've already gone through this debate and topic a million times over. Is that? Okay, there's another male over there. Oh my gosh, this dude, this lake's loaded. Holy, this lake's loaded. Oh my gosh. There's so many herds. Yeah, we're going to start grinding this lake. We are definitely going to start grinding this lake. That is amazing. So, these zones are about 300 meters apart. That's actually perfect for uh, making shots. Wait, level one male? Was there a level one male? Oh my gosh, there is. <laughs> that's hilarious. There's also something spooking them, so that's not good. There's so many moose here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start hunting this. Uh, Adam, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, really appreciate it. Arc stream tonight? I, I don't know, man. See, I'm on an arc server right now, but I'm already pretty far into it. So I don't know if I'll be streaming arc on there. I might do it on a different server, though, because, um... Uh, me and my friend John are probably going to jump on, like, an official cluster for, well, not, not official, like, an unofficial cluster for Primal Fear. One that's actually got all the settings set up properly, because I, I tried setting one up myself, and it didn't really, uh, turn out the way I wanted it to, so. We're probably just gonna join one that's already set up by people who know what they're doing. And, I mean, it's a cluster with, like, ten maps, so... We might start doing that. How much did you miss? You didn't miss too much. We got a diamond, and then we got a uh, troll as well. The diamond was kind of shocking. Like, I did not expect it to make it. Okay, so this is about where they were. Here's where we shot it. Let's go ahead and place this wherever it'll let us. Oh, wow. We can literally place one, like, right here. That is awesome. That is super awesome. I can't believe I didn't know about this lake until now. Thank you guys for letting me know that this lake is insane. That is so awesome. The shot of molting ptarmigan, is that rare fur type? No, I believe that is the normal, like, fur types for them. Still looks cool, though. They still look cool. Uh, we actually need the stands because we need to take it over there. Also, we need to find where this level one went. Where did that level one that we murdered go? Find it, Hunter. This way? All right. Yes, we're going this way. What lake is this? It's right over here. Right over here, and it had two loaded zones. There's a couple other lakes that we might set up on soon that I was checking earlier. Uh, what if you don't spot animals in a zone so the icon won't appear on the map? Can you still spook them so they won't come back to the same spot? No, like, they're already tied to their need zone, right? So, it, it's not going to prevent them from coming back there. That just means that it won't show the zone on your map. That's just like you discovering the zone. The zoners, the zones will still be there. They just haven't been discovered by you yet. That's kind of how it is. So, like, you could go over a zone, like, 20 times and never grab it. And it would still exist. Oh, I feel you on that, Hollow. That's been me recently, like, just... I'll, uh, I'll be trying to, like, get some work done, and... I'm like, but, like, I could go sleep. It's, like, 1 a.m. And then I'm like, but I could also just lay back in my chair and, like, close my eyes. And then I end up falling asleep in my chair, so... <laughs> That's just how it is, I guess. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> All right, so here is this zone. Let's get a stand somewhere over here.
That is not a stand. All right. I think we will have to get another tent over here, though. What is a zone that doesn't... I mean, this zone has never gave us more than one male. I think we could abandon this. It's not worth having two tents on a zone that gives us one male. Especially when there's an outpost right there. Yeah, the more I think about it, that is a waste of time. And we've been using this zone from the very beginning, and it's always had one, like, maybe two at the most. I don't think it's worth leaving two tents and a couple tripods there. I think we got to move it over to this one. Let's do that right now. We could just remove one for now and then maybe get rid of the other one later. Oh, definitely came out. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I do a lot of like uh, my grinding in Call of the Wild, like my off camera grinding super late at night. And so for me, like, There'll be times where I'm just like uh, catching up on YouTube for the day and just seeing what's going on in the YouTube world that's like outside of the Call of the Wild realm. And so I'll just be watching videos while I'm shooting moose or shooting whitetail or bears or whatever we may be grinding at the time. And yeah, sometimes I do just fall asleep there because I'm trying to grind a little bit late night. And then there's other times where I'll be editing late night. And like I feel myself dozing off, so I, I'm like, all right, it's time for bed. I'll finish editing tomorrow. What is the funniest outline of a lake you've seen? I don't know. I mean, I kind of like Mushroom Lake. Good old Mushroom Lake on Layton. And then this over here is apparently Sea Lake. What did you miss? You missed a diamond and a troll, uh, Casper. One diamond and one troll moose. Let's get this tent right here. Oh, actually, probably going to be slot five. There we go. Boom. All right. So that should be nice. We're going to try uh, implementing this into our rotation now. See how it does. I also want to try and maybe use that zone. Or start using this one again. I don't know which one to be honest. Let's just try adding this in and see if it's enough to get the respawns flowing again. That could really all be all we need is just one extra lake with four males to kind of get things moving again. How long will the stream be? Uh, I don't know, Ferris. At least another hour. Probably longer. Are you kidding me? Oh, we didn't shoot the one. That's right. This is the respawn. Hey, that's a good sign that we instantly had a respawn here. That's a good sign, guys. Instant respawn is a good sign. That is definitely a good sign. So what's the distance on these shots? 300 exactly. That is great. That's going to make these easier to predict like where I need to aim. I say that and then I miss the first hard shot, but we did get the moving hard shot, so that kind of made up for it. Actually, I completely... I completely missed him. He wasn't even limping. I think we completely missed him. <laughs> that was weird. Gotta admit, that was really weird. Alright, later, Ferris. Thank you for being here. As always, my dude. There's that zone. Let's see where they're actually positioned. Oh, perfect. Right where I got the tent and the stand. Look at that little level one. He is so adorable. Just like the one that we got yesterday. Absolutely adorable. 
We already have one just like him taxed though, so we're not gonna tax this one, but they're kind of cool looking. Definitely cool. Yeah, it is a super tiny one. That vitals? Nope, he's not losing any more health. Oh well. Hey Lightwolf, how's it going? There's the one we dropped. Oh yeah, troll super rares are terrible. The worst thing in the game in terms of like just being soul crushing. Non-vital. Uh, should probably get the ATV. Hundred percent mad dog. That's the same reason that I don't really play Way of the Hunter. Like, we don't have enough rares in the game, and the four rares we do have are not the greatest looking. Uh, we don't have non-typicals. We don't have any like a uh, special like once in a lifetime trophies in the game. All the types of things that bring me back to a game. I think the other downside with it is it's only got two maps as or three maps as of now. I think once they get more maps and more features, uh, Way of the Hunter will hold my attention more. Worst trolls in albino cape. Oh no, Rob. That's rough. Albino cape troll. Jeez. I mean, I barely even found any albino cape, so if I had a troll one, I'd be so sad. Oh, they've actually got... Oh, Calibers, yeah. I was going to say, they actually have a good amount of guns now. They've added a couple... Uh... They've added the crossbows, and then they added a uh, weapon pack as well at some point. They've, they've done a decent decent job of getting more stuff in there, gun-wise. Alright, later, Sonaldo. Thank you for being here, dude. No mail. Nice, uh, Benu, that's awesome. What are the rares in Way of the Hunter? Um, albino Whitetail, Albino Red Deer, Melanistic Roe Deer, and Melanistic Mule Deer. That's the only rares they have currently. Currently, the only rares they have. And, uh, to be honest, the Albinos look more gray. Which is unfortunate. I remember seeing a few people in the comments that were like defending the uh, the albinos looking gray. They're like, it's supposed to be aging, and it's like, yeah, but it was a young one. And even an even an old albino in real life does not look gray. It'll still look bright white. It might just have a little bit of like a patchiness at places, right? But it's, it's not going to change the overall tone of it. Oh, there's a male. One male again. Glad we uh, added that new lake, cause having just one male here, that's rough. That's real rough. Hey, Statler, I'm doing good. Doing uh, very well. Just trying to figure out how confusing these moose can be. Yeah, exactly, Hollow. Like, it does it doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. The hardcore fans of the game will defend everything. Oh, we got a male there again. Holy! There's a male over there. I screwed up taking down that whitetail and the moose over here, though. 
I know, Johnny, I don't get it. Like, 338 Lapua would have been such a nasty round to get into the game, but it does seem to be based off the wind mag instead. Definitely a little bit unfortunate, but... I, I suppose on the bright side, we can still use our 300 Magnum. I guess that's the bright side for it. The 300 Magnum is still relevant because of that. Uh, no, Puzzle Bow. So, the Angler is not released on console yet. It will be released on all consoles. Old gen and current gen. In the summer. Um, I have no idea, KML. YouTube holds certain things for review. And, uh, with the new settings for YouTube, I can't see anything they hold for review. Unless I open the stream up on my phone. That's the only time I can see, like, stuff that gets held. To be honest, it's kind of a stupid change on YouTube's part. I don't know why they made it so that even the own streamer, like, can't see what messages are being held. I think only moderators can see it. But if you, if you have any, like, uh, curse words in there, YouTube will automatically hold them for the most part. Although, it does let a few slip through sometimes. What's my biggest fish in the angler? My biggest fish ever was a... I think it was like a 32 or 33 pound lake trout. Because I don't like Twitch, uh, Sam. I prefer to have all my streams and videos and everything in one area, which is YouTube. Got a level 8 piebald red deer today. Nice, Casper. That's awesome. Would be a cool event if the Yeti was added for Christmas. Yeah, that would be pretty crazy. That would be pretty wild. Okay, so this zone is still just the two females. It says it's a zone of two. Going to assume this one is as well. Yeah, seems about right, KML. It could be... I have noticed that there's been some people that have joined my chat and it literally held like every single message they put. I think sometimes YouTube is just terrible at figuring out, like, what is permitted and what isn't. Because there's been a few people, including, um, I think one of, uh, Lady Legends moderators, like, could not get a message through in my chat. It was crazy, like, all of her messages were getting held. Hey, Chip, how's it going? My moose, where are they? All the wild, give me my male moose back. <laughs> Bruh, what is happening? Oh, it's it's so sad to see all of my lakes empty. Yesterday, we had easily, like, probably 20 male moose that we could rotate on. Today, the same zones, we're lucky to find, like, seven in a run. That's pretty bad. Apparently, creative title, it's it's doing the same thing that it did on, uh, on Medved, which is really terrible to see. You know what? We're going to go for the back of the neck shot. It worked. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, it'll be very soon, uh, Jericho. Very soon. I was actually just talking to Lady this morning. 
she's uh, feeling better, so we'll get that collab done soon. Probably in a couple of days we'll do it. I can't promise that it'll go up on, that it'll actually be uploaded. Like immediately after, it'll probably be a couple days after that it gets uploaded. But yes, we do have a collab coming soon. Come on, male moose, where are you? Hey, there's one. Oh, there's another. Please have one over here? No. You know, I'll take it, though. We got two here. Better, uh, oh, three! Holy, we got three here! Oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful sight. Oh, I'm so happy. Come on! Go down! I hit the tree in front of him the first time. Second time is the charm in this scenario, though. Just spotted a diamond potential level 4 moose. Nice, Ibby, that's awesome. No great ones today, Lando. We did get a diamond and a troll, though, and found a lake that had tons of moose, so... There's, uh, there's some positives so far. We have had some good stuff, but no great ones. Calling great one in either this or the next run? Maybe. I'm gonna say 100 kills from now. I believe my guess the other day was that it would be before we hit 1,400 kills. And right now we're going to be at approximately like... Probably like 1,070. Maybe 1,080. Probably 1,080. We're probably at roughly 1,080. So hopefully we can get it within 320 kills. Um, actually, it's Water Buffalo that primarily makes it at level 8 uh, KML, and, um... I have actually seen a Diamond level 8 Red Deer. It's got the, uh, kind of like the middle rack for the Diamonds. Dude, will this thing... There we go, finally. <laughs> but yes, I have seen a Diamond level 8 Red Deer, I've seen a screenshot, and everything looked legitimate. Jaxie has also said before that he's seen a couple of level 8 red deer throughout the years. Then there has been the, uh, the diamond level 8 water buffalo, but that's kind of different because they have true racks. Same with the red deer, actually. Both of those have true racks. Supposedly, though, according to Jaxie, he said that literally any... And this was after he was already with EW. On one of the live streams, he said that any animal can make diamond one level below their max. However, for some species, it is so rare that it's never happened. So technically, it's possible for any animal to make it one level below. But it's very unlikely for certain species. And for some, it's literally never happened. Like, I've personally never seen a uh, diamond level 8 gray wolf, but I, I definitely believe that it could happen. So if, uh, if somebody's posted one in ladies, then I'm sure it probably did happen. Do we got a male here? No male there, just two females. All right. Now, let's go back over here. The moose didn't make it? Aw, oh, that's unfortunate, dude. Hey, Miles, how's it going? 
What map is this? This is Rev on Tule Coast. 1142 is your next great one. I'm calling it. I hope. I wouldn't mind it at 1142. Oh, that's a new one. We only got one of the males back here. Actually, I think that one just never died. Nice. Nice, Miles. That's awesome. How was Easter? It was pretty good, uh, Karen. It was pretty good. Just uh, worked on videos and streams. But I still had quite a bit of fun. Is that a big boy? Ah, he's an okay one. Not huge, but not bad. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. This lake ends like right over here. I'm curious. If there's anything all the way over there that we might have spooked last time? I mean, there's even been times where animals drink out of their zone, so. Got a great one, Red Stag, the other side of the lake. For me, nice pork chop. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. Got an albino bear yesterday. Nice, Shayna. That's awesome. Come on, raise your head up, buddy. Isn't it crazy that it's like 280 meters, I can still stay zeroed for 150 and just aim at the top of the heart and you get a hard shot? 300 Magnum's just such a good gun. I love it. I love the 300 so much. Aw, you. You floater! How dare you? How dare they float like that? For real, Johnny, the 300 is just such a beast at long range. It's honestly impressive that it's probably literally the flattest shooting gun in the game. Just crazy to think about. It's just so good. It's just a matter of shooting animals till you find them, Richard. With diamonds, you can just uh, prioritize the... Uh, let me open it up on my phone, KML. Maybe there's like a specific thing that you're saying that's stopping it. I'll open it up real quick. I should be able to see everything on here. Yeah, so I'll just keep it open on my phone. You're not seeing any deleted messages either? Okay, KML, whenever you send a message and it will not let you send it, what does it say? Does it tell you that it's held by YouTube? Or does it tell you... Like, what does it tell you? Does it say this is being held for a moderator? Does it say that... Does it not say anything? Or does it say, like, this message... It's an icon? Like it's like it's showing an icon above your message or something? Is it like a red icon? Is it a red icon next to your uh, message? If that's the case, that's just bad internet. That just means that it failed to send. Because if it's held, it will go through, and then it just lets a moderator decide if it gets uh, posted or not. That's quite different. Okay, well, uh, do do the same like message that got uh, that wasn't able to go through last time, KML, and see if it does this time. Because none of my moderators are seeing any of your messages even pop up, which means that it's probably not on our end. It's probably either on your end or YouTube's end.
I mean, it worked right there, man, so... It worked right there. I would imagine that you might just have a weak internet connection right now, so it's failing to send them. That's really what it's starting to look like to me. There we go. Might also be due to slow mode. Maybe. Because it's a five second slow mode, so you gotta wait five seconds between messages. But we've always had a slow mode on the channel, so. And I think with slow mode, it doesn't let you type. I think it actually stops you from typing. So that wouldn't be the case, I don't think. I don't think slow mode would be like deleting your messages. I think it just prevents them from going through. Or like prevents you from even being able to say anything. Through the tree. Nope. Not one of the trees you can shoot through. Can confirm. There's some trees that you can shoot through when they're kind of like swaying. Like this one. I bet I can shoot through that one. But this guy apparently not. <laughs> Oh, well, it seems to be working now, KML. I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, and I gotta turn the uh, AC up a little bit. Alrighty. Little baby level three. Why are you still moving? That moose was moving so weird. Uh, whenever they add, like, something more to grind for, Statler, there's not enough for me to grind for for me to want to play that game. It's the whole reason I haven't been playing Way of the Hunter. There's just not enough long-term grinding stuff. Really, all the game has going for it is just repeatedly getting five stars. And then, like... The rares for four of the species, but none of the rares look that good to me, so... It's just not really something I'm interested in doing. Take that little white tail. So it's like a crashing ready rascal. Are you getting, like, the error report crash icon thing? Oh! I know what's happening to you, KML! I know what's happening to you! You're saying the emote deleted it. That's a- that's some weird issue with YouTube. If you, uh, if you put XD, like, you just type, like, XD, it'll turn it into an emote, and if you continue typing after that, it'll just send the emote. That- I do know what's happening now. That's- nobody knows why it does that. That's just what happens with YouTube for some reason. Uh, the amount of times that I've tried typing in, like, Flinter's chat, and it, like, deletes the entire message and just puts an emote. Like, uh, yeah. I imagine it probably does the same thing with all emotes. It's probably not just XD, but XD is what I use. And so, yeah, that- that's definitely a thing that happens. Glad we figured that out. Yeah, it just sometimes when it transfers something into an emote. Yeah, Rob, like it has to be, um, it has to be lowercase x and then uppercase d. And then if you hit space, it'll turn it to an emote. And then if you continue typing afterwards, like I'm just going to spam the keys right now. Oh, it worked for me. Let me, let me try it again. I'll do hi x d yes. Hey. Oh, it worked. That's weird. It worked that time. 
Sometimes it doesn't, though, so that's strange. Well, it worked that time. <laughs> oh, gosh, what have I started? We have anything here? No zone, okay. Uh, yes, Statler, we have a couple cats. You're welcome, Hollow. I got you. You gotta read the rules, uh, Ibby Boy. Read the rules and it tells you how to see the other channels. I feel like everybody looks at the rules channel and then they never actually read what's in there. If you read what the rules channel says, at the very bottom there's an all caps message that kind of guides you on how to access the rest of the Discord channels, so... There's a reason that the rules page is the, the page it puts you on. Because, I mean, first, you got you got to read the rules. And second, it tells you how to see the rest of the channels. Reading is fundamental. It is indeed. It is indeed. It will show you the way. As they say. It's like it's still all females. That's unfortunate to see. Where's the big males? Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> there we go. I know, right, rascal? I mean, if you you don't believe me, Rascal, you probably haven't seen uh, what happens to me in other chats. <laughs> There's been so many times where I've typed out a lengthy message to like Flinter or Kill Clinton or DD, and it just sends an emote. It's kind of annoying how it does that. Let me try it on my phone. You guys can chill with the XDs now, by the way. This is just actually on the phone. It doesn't even turn it to an emote. But yeah, y'all need y'all need to chill with the XD. People are leaving from all the spam, so chill. I was just testing it out. I, I didn't want all of you to test it out. Don't see anything there. Ah, man. At least we had one male. What's my favorite candy bar? To be honest, Columbia, I haven't ate a candy bar in a couple years. But, uh, when I did used to eat them, my favorites were Butterfingers, Twix, Kit Kats, uh, Reese's Fast Breaks. Like, those were some of my favorites. But I, I haven't ate a candy bar in a long time because, like, they're just so sugary. They're just so sugary and they hurt the teeth. Our moves are being all kinds of weird. Not only are we losing males, but they're also not going to their zones as reliably. I mean, you didn't, you didn't have to, Hollow, but I do appreciate it. If you want to, if you want to be playing some Red Dead, then play some Red Dead. Did you ever check the northernmost bay in the west? Um. Moose Zones had a had good luck there as well. Northernmost Bay. Yeah, I did. I have one zone right here. And then I have a couple zones here, but there wasn't really anything notable. There's only like one or two uh males. So I just have not uh not hunted there much because it wasn't worth the time. There we go. One moose down. Oh, I know a good amount of people that do that pork chop. I mean, the game's got good hunting in it, so I can see why. Do 
214, not too bad. Oh, sounds about right, Hollow. I mean, that's the fun way to play, right? That's that's the good way to play. Hey, you guys know what that is. Oh, also, holy! One, two, three, four males! But we all know what this is. Boom! Level five! Probably a troll. Although, that's the rack that made diamond earlier. That's the same rack that made it earlier. That's awesome. That could be a diamond. And this is the first run in a while where we've had four males here. That makes me so happy. Like, you guys have no idea how happy that makes me. Oh my gosh, that's so good to see. Okay, so that thing is about roughly, probably 260. It usually ranges through them, so I'm just going to guess 260. So we should be able to kill this without spooking the other one. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Turn around. We're gonna have to get him to turn around again, eh? Look at those gorgeous antlers, though. I never get tired of seeing... Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can go through the tree. Yep, that is one of the trees that you can shoot through. Amazing. Okay, those are a different group. If they were from the same herd, they would have spooked. So those are two solos that ended up here. That is two solos right there. Oh yeah, definitely, bro. But that's that's the way to play, man. That is the way to play. Beautiful. Honestly, that was pretty successful. We got a lot of good shots in there. Part where it gives you every angle but a good one. It, yep, that sounds pretty accurate, creative. Tis the story of my life. So there should be a zone right about there. Gotta keep track of the distance so I don't drive too far and make them render in, because if they render in, they'll spook from the ATV. But if they don't render in, I can drive up to the other part of the zone without spooking them. And then, uh, take the shot. This is where we get off. Let's see. Is this gonna be a diamond, guys? I think it... I think it will after the last one making it. This guy looks about the same as the other one that made it. Yeah, I think he's gonna make it. Oh, I was so wrong. This isn't even the same rack. Oh, this this is a different rack. It's gotta be. Yeah, I just realized the paddles are shorter, I think. Spread's about the same. I think it's got to be the length of palm. We should be paying attention to these whenever we get them. Yeah, that's a troll. That's unfortunate. It's about the same weight as the diamond, but... Man, so two trolls and a diamond today. Sad, man. Sad. You know, at least we're getting lots of fives. I'll take that. Yesterday was brutal. We had uh, two trolls. And a level 4 that was barely off of it. And that was in like 170 kills. 
So I'm just happy we got a diamond today. Even if it was followed by two trolls. And no mails there. Uh, we got the last. There he is. All right, perfect. We got them all. That's a pretty lucky pancake. That's very lucky, dude. Because I get the trolls all the time for these freaking moose. They troll constantly. I think most of my level 5 moose have been trolls throughout my career of Call of the Wild. Pretty sure I've had over 100 troll moose. Throughout the times when we were doing herd management and then after that as well. Like, I just get way more trolls than I do diamonds. An unfortunate thing. A very unfortunate thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Johnny. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, there we go. There we go. No males. Where's the males? Don't tell me they're going to just disappear like the rest of them. Now, these ones are probably just moving because I've never hunted this lake until today. So there's a good chance that some of these are just moving. But that still means we'll have to figure out where they're moving to. In fact, maybe that's why we started getting a few in that other lake. Okay, this one didn't respawn either. Be fair though, I actually don't know. Did I restart the... Did I go to the main menu since we were here last? I don't know if I did. Yeah, possibly creative, possibly. Yeah, maybe we should just main menu real quick. What map do I want in June? I mean, I want Africa 2.0, but I'd be okay with Australia or uh, British Columbia or a Texas game ranch. Like, those are the top four ones that I really want to see. If we get I any of those four, I'll be happy. But I've got a sneaking suspicion that it'll be like Europe, like someplace in Europe because of that random European bison mount we got. Just feels like it coincides too perfectly. No males there. Let's go back here now that we have re uh, gone to the uh, main menu. Random whitetail zone there. Still no males. We got any male tracks here? What do these zones say? Two. Yeah, the males have not come back to this lake. That's concerning, but like I said, it's the first time we've hunted that lake. It's not too out of the ordinary for them to move the first time. I mean, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion, Pancake. Lots of people want a Cape Buffalo Great One. I think for most people, it's a top five pick. Oh, that's a big four. I think for most people, it's a top five pick, but it's not number one. I think that's why it doesn't get talked about. Like, I think a lot of people have Cape Buffalo in their top five, but it's not their number one most wanted. So I think that's why it doesn't get talked about. I believe that's why. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? 252, not too bad. Nothing there. I think we're going to need to do a time reset. I'm uh, not sure, AJ. Maybe. We will see. Okay, even after a time reset, nothing there. Yeah, these moose are acting weird. So you guys may remember like a week ago we were grinding and literally everything, everything was getting here instantly. Like the moose were 
always at their zones when I went there. And if they weren't, I could reset the time once and they would be there. Now, sometimes I'm having to reset three times at a zone just to get the mail there. And we also have lost like a ton of our mails. Like our moose are just so broken. It's literally Medved all over again, which is really sad to see. Like Great One, Lion, Elephants, and much more if there was an Africa 2.0. That would be pretty wild, Shayna. That would be uh, pretty crazy. You know, I'm not even going to go to this lake. We haven't had a mail there in forever. It's not worth it. It's not worth the time. What do I think the new Great One should be? I would love for it to be another deer, like a black tail or mule deer. However, I got a good feeling that it's either going to be... Well, that's a mythical bear. I got a good feeling that it's either going to be the Euro Bison or the Fallow Deer. I feel like those are the most likely because they can be on Hirschfelden. And uh, Hirschfelden currently only has one great one. It needs another one. Watch a great one be there. Ah, if it is, we'll see it later, I guess. Because I'm not going to go to that lake for a few runs. It's a waste of time since there hasn't been a male there in ages. Let's see if it gets this uh, male in here. Well, just three females. Oh, what is happening to my moose, guys? Between the last grind and this one, we went like a thousand... We went like a thousand kills without losing moose. And now we're just losing them. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Uh, tree stands just aren't versatile in where you can place them. That's the only reason I don't use them much. I like being able to place the stand in the perfect spot for the zone I'm hunting. If it's a tree stand, I have to be very reliant on where the trees are placed. And a lot of trees you can't even place a stand on. I mean, just look at this right here. Like, there's no place that I can put a tree stand to hunt this zone. And that's how a lot of the zones are. Tripods get used more just because you can get the better angles. How's my day? It's been pretty good, uh, Brandon. It's been pretty good. Don't you float all the way. Yeah, we just beached him. Let's go. Like a beach moose. Uh, no clue, Merle. No clue. I mean, American Marksman just came out. That game's very young. It's got plenty of time to get more stuff in the future. They couldn't call them great ones, though. I can tell you that. That would be copyrighted, so... They can't call them the great one. But they could definitely add something similar and give it a different name. My gosh, my game just froze hard. Man, not going to get him. So I'm starting to see a pattern with today's grinding. The lake we're at right now, and this little spot down here, consistently have like two to four males. And then this lake always has one to three males. Maybe we need to just hunt these lakes. I mean, we get one male here, so we can hunt that one, but we need to ignore, like, these two lakes here, I think, and condense the grind down a bit more. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be efficient until we get the rest of them to respawn again, like... 
Losing all these males is really affecting how many we kill an hour. Like, we've been going for two hours, and I doubt that we've hit the normal of, like, 100 to 120. We're probably at, like, maybe 80 or 90. Maybe 100 at the most. But we're definitely not hitting 120 like we used to be able to. Let's just hope this trend doesn't continue. Let's hope we uh, get these respawns flowing again. You're going to get the Great One Moose at the next zone. I really hope that's the case, Shadow Lord. I really hope so, because it's been it's been brutal. All right, Johnny, no worries. Two males there. Three. Okay, yeah, we got three males again at this, like... Nice to see that this one's being consistent, at least. Like, they're coming back to the same area. And the crazy thing is, these are solo moose. How are solo moose being more consistent than my herds right now? That truly is crazy. That might be a first. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Where the solos are more consistent than the herds. Ah, oh, I should have reloaded. Oh, I start turning back right as I'm able to. <laughs> oh, here we go. No, it didn't hit vitals. Well, it hit vitals, but not heart. That one did, though. Nice. Oof, that's unfortunate creative. Yeah, multiplayer unfortunately has a lot of cheating. It's a sad, sad thing, but it is what it is. As they would say, it is what it is. Yeah, it happens, uh, chicken. You know what I say, whenever something just uh, gets boring, just, you know, switch it up. And if you need to, play a different game for a bit. How much lakes should you set up for at the great one, for the great one moose grind and or whitetail grind? Um, it depends. I usually try to set up at lakes that have a lot of zones in one condensed area so that I can hunt a lot of them very efficiently. The less tents you can dedicate to the most zones is like the best case scenario, right? I try to hunt at least 12 to 15 zones. 12 to 15 zones I've found to be pretty good. Like, right now, we're hunting about 15 moose zones. Though, we're going to be moving that around a bit because my moose are being really weird. Welcome back, uh, Bobby. Do I like the new Leighton Lodge? It's okay for what it is. It's not a lodge that I use, but it's good that it's a free lodge. That's the way I see it. It's a it's a good thing for people that don't want to buy the uh, DLC, but for someone like myself, it's just not super useful. Um, though I might do a series with it at some point. Okay, I can't find this other one, so head down here and see what we find. We should probably main menu first, though. Yes, Monkey, I've checked all of them. Like I said, I went through my entire map this morning and yesterday off of stream, so I've checked everything. I, I can assure you that it is a fact of them not respawning. It's the same thing that happened on Medved. On Medved, we were able to completely prove it because we lost, like, over 20 of our males. We went from 30 to less than 10, and we kept grinding like that for a couple of days, and we were just struggling. There was one stream where we literally had, like, just eight males amongst all our zones when we used to have like 30 and we kept trying that we kept trying to grind and grind and grind and then eventually I, I randomly got some back it wasn't the entire like we didn't get all the way back up to 30 males but we got back up to like 
23 or 25, you know, uh, enough to where it was grindable again. And then they started depleting again. So there, I think at this point, there's no question that there is a bug where they just don't respawn for a while. It's almost like something is stopping them from respawning. And like, obviously we're not developers, so we have no way to really figure out what's going on. I've already reported it uh, to Jaxi and to the devs, so I'm sure they know about it, but the question is, can they figure out what it is just based off of one person's uh, experience? That's the problem. Like, I feel like unless other people can find the same thing happening, it's going to be a tough one to fix. Like, I imagine it's difficult to go off of just one person's uh, experience. Seems like it'd be a tough thing to fix. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe it'll be an easy thing to fix. Happened to me with the red deer, so I just started shooting the females so I could delete the zones. Maybe that could help. I tried shooting females on Medved, uh, Monkey. It didn't help. I also tried... I also shot a couple hundred caribou. Or not caribou, but reindeer. I shot a couple hundred reindeer, and I'd shoot just any other animal that walked in front of me. And yeah, it didn't help. The time when they came back, it was just random. Like, it, it was just random that they came back. And like, I know that it wasn't from other zones because I never strayed off of hunting the same zones. I continued only hunting the same zones. And yeah, it's looking like that's happening on Rev again. Yesterday, we actually got some of the males back and now they've started going away again and they're doing it even more extreme. Definitely seems like it comes in waves, like, You'll lose them for a while, and then they'll all come back, and then they'll slowly start depleting again. But it's happened on both of our moose grinds now. Makes me wonder what I could do to make that not happen. Like, do I need to hunt the entire map? Do I need to just, like, go to another map and start a grind up there? Like, what do we gotta do? I messed that shot up, too. Rip. Okay, only one male back here on that side this time. See if we can get this angle. Nice. Well, let me just, uh, let me actually fix that. There we go. Just try Leighton Lakes and run the river over and over again? Maybe. I can see that being pretty decent. The thing is, like, I don't want to dedicate tents to it because I've already got my whitetail grind, and my whitetail grind is, like, amazing on Leighton, so... Yeah, I don't know, Kathy. That's the thing. I, I just don't know. I don't know what to do at this point. I want to stick with Rev. I like Rev a lot, but, uh, you know, I, I want to be efficient, and if we're losing our males and I can't, like, keep my tents at one lake, if I have to keep moving, that's not really efficient. I mean, as long as we get enough males to cycle respawns, then I guess that's all that matters. If we have to, we'll just hunt the same, like, three or four areas repeatedly. Yeah, no problem, Chip. That was mentioned, and I was like, geez, why, why isn't Chip modded? Like, it's not like I haven't talked to you before. It's not like I haven't seen you around in other streams a lot. And, uh, quite a few of the old moderators from my channel have stopped showing up, so... I could always use the, uh, extra help. 
Because uh, nowadays it's pretty much just like Johnny, um, Caitlin, and Brobra that stop by every stream. And then uh, Clay Drew comes by a few times a week. Same with like uh, Smash will come through occasionally. And then uh, Hollow drops by every couple weeks or every week or so. But like uh, we don't have as many of the regulars that used to stop by all the time. Yeah, Nathan too. Nathan's Nathan drops by all the streams as well. Or at least the ones where he's able to. I have so many, I've had so many moderators for the channel over the years that like my brain just can't even remember all of them. I'm trying to remember if I forgot anybody that shows up regularly. I think that's, I think that's everybody. Oh, of course my wife drops by. But she's usually busy uh, taking care of Aaliyah while I'm working, so. Oh, there's a three. Okay. Oh, there's. Oh, oh my gosh. We got three males here. Yep. This is what we're going to have to do, guys. I think I figured it out. We have three males there. Let me, let me go down here and check. Do we have three males there? If we do, we might just absolutely hammer those two zones. And, well, three counting the new one. One, two. Oh, this is beautiful. Three. Yes. Yep, that's what we're going to have to do. We have three males there. Three males here. Uh, we had one here. One here. And then two here. Let's just hunt those. Let's just go between those five spots. I'm not even going to touch any of these lakes anymore. And to be honest, I might remove a couple of the tents as well. A male moose? I've never seen one. I know, right? It's crazy. Alright, so we'll continue hunting later, guys. I'm going to take a break real quickly. So, stream is not ending, for those curious. We're not ending the stream. Just going to take a, like, 20-minute break or so to eat some food real quickly. Either 20 to 30 minutes, depends on if I make something or if I just grab something quick. I'm probably gonna have to cook it, so... Uh, I'll be back whenever I finish uh, cooking and eating my uh, lunch. And yes, guys, 4 p.m. is lunch for me. I, to be honest, I don't even eat breakfast until after I get done uploading the video. So I didn't eat breakfast until 1 p.m. today. <laughs> I ate breakfast at 1 p.m. because I had to get the video uploaded for you guys. But I hope you guys appreciate all the uh, all the work that goes into getting all the videos up every day or at least five days a week at this point. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some food in me and then we'll get back to the stream and keep on grinding. Been enjoying these longer streams again. Been fun to get back into the like hardcore grind. So yeah, we're going to keep going, but I will be back in like 25, 30 minutes, guys.
Hello. 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 Hi. How is everybody doing? Hope you're all doing great. We're back. We're about to be uh, smoking some more of these moosies. Hope you're all doing phenomenomenomenally. Random whitetail. Probably gonna need the main menu. How's it going, Kobe? Alright, so let's start up here since that's where we, uh, that was where we kind of left off. Yeah, it's been happening to me too, Hans. Uh, they came back for a while and then they started not respawning again and now it's getting really bad to the point where I've lost most of them. Same thing with Medved. I think there's 100% a spawn problem with Moose. I think there's 100% a respawn problem with Moose. There we go. Uh, I didn't think that would work, but I was hoping it would. That one worked. Beautiful. Uh, Landon, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing, man. Hope you're doing great. Very generous of you. I would imagine Big Hoss, I could probably lift about uh, two benches at once, you know? I, I don't mean to brag, but I can take like two of those little, uh, you know, those little like foldable plastic benches. I can easily uh, lift two of those up. One in each hand, you know? Pumping iron, I mean pumping plastic, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back, Shayna. Little baby level two. Gotta love it. Appreciate it, Brandon. Um, for what species? Uh, Lenny for moose? Uh, if you're talking about moose, then yes. Level threes and above are what you would shoot. And there's the one that we just shot. <laughs> He's, uh, coming down here. Crazy little moose? Love to see all these fours, though. We've had a lot of fours and fives show up today, which is really nice to see. We've lost a lot of uh, male moose, but the ones we are finding have been good. Dude, you barely even looked at me for two seconds and then turned again. What are you doing, you crazy moose? There we go. They're just moosing about? Yep, that's that's true. They're moosing about. Not bad, big hoss, not bad. Although I once saw a moose lift another moose onto their back when I was playing Call of the Wild, so. I mean, good luck beating that. Because, I mean, an average moose in this game is, like, 550, uh, kgs, so... I think the moose got it. I think the moose currently hold the record. Could you imagine trying to lift a moose? My gosh, that would be insane. 
Uh, let's see. Is there anything here? Lifting up a moose would be ridiculous. That's just like, you're just asking to die at that point. What match, map should you start the moose grind on? Um, I would recommend either Medved or Revontuli. They're both equally good from what I've seen. It seems that no matter which map you have the issue of respawns not always coming back. So, I would really just choose the map that you like the most. But Medved and Rev definitely have the easiest places to hunt them. Uh, we're not going to be able to get those others. But yeah, like Rev and Medved are definitely the two best. So whichever one you like more out of those two is probably what I'd go with. I've been liking Rev a lot just for the scenery. That zone did not get its males back, so they probably moved. Hey, we got a male there. That's nice. Do I think they'd ever make something hi higher level than the Great One? I don't think so, no. Because the Great One is supposed to be that, like, top tier, end of the line, best of the best trophy, right? I mean, maybe if you get a Great One with a rare fur type, it could be, like, level 15. But I don't think they'd ever do that. I think it's good the way it is. I think if anything, they should add some, uh, they should add some levels in between, like, for example, make like non-typicals have like varying levels that are in between. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> exactly, Hollow. <laughs> Everybody's got that one way that they show their friends they care. And uh, trash talking is Hollow's way. <laughs> if Hollow wasn't talking trash, I'd be very concerned for, for her. <laughs> I'd be very concerned. I'd be like, wait a second. Hollow just went a sentence without throwing shade at me. Like, is, is Hollow okay? <laughs> Like, I'd be concerned if Hollow wasn't throwing shade at me. Not purposely, Alex, no. Oh! Got me there. What about a raccoon dog, though? What about, what about a raccoon dog? Would you recommend me to one of those? You know, the extreme lack of males is very, very painful to look at. Excuse me. Crazy I still have a little cough after a month of being better. Love it. Gotta love it. That's not exactly a giant. Can I? Oh, he's moving, of course. Well, I guess he gave us a good hard shot, so it doesn't matter too much. How many great ones do I have? Currently 30 of them, Bryce. Ah. You. You stupid moose. You're lucky I still got tents on me or I'd be real mad. You're lucky I still got tents on me. Or else it would have been over there. Um, I don't think it's going to be a lion, no. I think it's most likely going to be a fallow or a Eurobison. 
Like, I don't see Lion being the next great one. Though I'd probably prefer it over a uh, Euro Bison. Uh, no, Bobby, because memberships are random. You can't gift a uh, individual a membership. Not how YouTube works. Uh, Kotamit? Where's that one? Where's Kotamit? Oh, yeah, I have Moose here. I don't have a lot of males, though. And the reason I'm not hunting these is they're too close to these to where, like, a lot of times they'll just move over to these ones. I try to go to lakes where the respawns can't really go anywhere else. But yeah, I have hunted those lakes. I've gone through them many, many times. Because I'm always periodically looking for, like, if we have a level 5 that's gone somewhere else. Or if the Great One has spawned somewhere else. So I always check those lakes. Never really find anything too notable there. Does the zones on Silver Ridge come back for Pronghorn? Like if you delete them? If they'll come back. There's a good chance that they won't come back to the same spot, though. Uh, it's up at the top of the screen, Richard. All my, like, diamond and uh, great one stats are at the top of the screen. Yeah, Daniel, of course, of course. Yeah, I've, I've checked most of my map. There's just like a few lakes here and there that I haven't. Um, yeah, my, my map is not super great for those lakes, sadly. I just checked this one today. It's got a few males. I might incorporate it in, but I don't know. These three lakes have no males now for me. Like, a lot of them have disappeared from that corner. And then we found a bunch over here recently, so... I don't know what we'll do. I really don't know what we're gonna do with this grind as a whole. As of now. We're definitely gonna have to move things around, though. Because we're definitely running into the same problem we did on Medved. Where our, our respawns are stopped up somewhere. You know, I wonder... Like, this is uh, the one thing that I don't like about changing lakes I'm hunting. So the last time that this happened on Medved, right? We started losing a lot of our males in our main zones, like I was telling you guys, and they eventually came back. But in the meantime, like I was moving, I moved a couple of my tents because I I wanted to move them to zones that actually had males. And then, you know, all the respawns came back eventually, so I had to move all the tents back to the old zones. Which is why I haven't moved all of these tents that are at these lakes that stopped producing males. Like, I still have four tents between these two because I don't want to move around too much and then just have to reset everything up. I'm just moving enough to where we can kill a good enough amount of males. Uh, Shadow Lord, thank you for the five months, dude. Really appreciate it. All right, later, Hollow. Thank you for dropping by. Appreciate it, as always. And, uh, don't be afraid to send me a message if you ever are on when I'm on. I don't really get too much time off of, uh... I don't really get too much time off of, like, making content, but... If you see me online in the morning, you know, feel free to shoot me a message. Yeah, I don't see anything there. What flavor Dorito? <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's unfortunate with the time zone differences, like... Most of the time, like, when I finish, when I get done with my editing in the morning, you're usually already asleep or getting ready to go to sleep. 
At least if it fits still the same as it was when you first moved. And then by the time you're up, I'm getting ready for bed. <laughs> it's unfortunate. We'll have to figure something out at some point. It's 1 a.m. here right now. Jeez. Yeah, like I, I wake up at like 10 in the morning. I edit videos until noon, which is when the video uploads. And then I get an hour to go downstairs and eat. And then after I eat, I start up the live stream. And then I stream for, you know, two, three hours, sometimes more. Then I hop off, go spend a little bit of time with my family and eat dinner. And then it's uh, back to streaming. Or recording, depending on what I'm behind on. Ah, uh, he's on the other map, Trey. That was on, uh, Medved. That's a good-looking four there. And that is a three. There's a three. I am really happy we're reliably getting three males here. That is huge. That, that is really nice. That's keeping my hopes alive. We got a couple zones that are consistently producing the same amount of males. It is a wonderful thing to see, dude. How? Be alerted! Stupid moose! Bro, what? What distance do I need to get? There we go, finally. Guess it was going too far. Please be vitals. It's vitals. Definitely was not a hard shot, but it was vitals. World's most observant moose. There. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's so interested in the grass that he just he really just can't take his mind off of it. What a moose. What a moose. No, that rack will not make it. That one can't be diamond. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where were you? We had four males here. Let's go. Nice, Shayna. That's awesome. Where was that fourth one? Because it's easier to maneuver, John. The only time I need to go into first person is when I'm traveling through trees. That's the only time where I need to do it. Otherwise, it's easier to see around you when you're in the third person. Two forty-four, not bad. Oh, nice, Kathy. That's awesome. That is super awesome. You're being a lunatic and doing the Hirsch Red Deer grind. Oh. Oh my gosh, another male. Let's go. Five males, one zone. Holy. That's crazy. Five male moose at this spot. You know, I'm not too mad about our other zones drying up. If we consistently get five here, three to four at the other zone, and then a couple down between the other two areas. Oh, that would that would actually not be bad if it just stays like this then I could really narrow it down Mrs. Crow is in the building Hey Caleb, how's it going? Yeah, hello <laughs> Coming here for the the story time indeed Holy, 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 holy. 
Hey, Zebon, how's it going? Uh, yeah, Ibby, there is 64 structures that aren't tents. So that's like all types of blinds and stands. You can have a total of 64. Okay, I think it's time to retire this zone for now. Let's go grab this tent. 224. Jeez, Sloth, that's crazy. 224 on the angler, that is wild. But I, I guess to be fair, if you play the game a lot and you like the game, and have been playing it since the start, it's probably not too difficult to reach that, is it? Because, I mean, right now, I've, I've leveled up, like, probably... 20 times in the last week ever since I got my uh, Apex Connect to work with my main account. How long did it take to reach 224 like that? Gotta be a good chunk of hours. Yeah, Luca, I'll let you know real quickly. So we have shot probably another... I'd say we probably killed another 100, 100 and... Probably another 120 moose today, which brings us to about 1120. We're at like 1120 moose with nine diamonds and one rare on grind number five. So it's been, been an interesting grind. Very lackluster for rares, decent on the diamonds and a ton of trolls, like more trolls than I would ever like to have. <laughs> What's max for Gator? I believe it's 530 if I'm not mistaken. That's a big boy. That might be a five. Oh, it's not a five. It's a big four. That's still a big boy though. That is still a big boy right there. Beautiful. You love to see it. Okay, I'm going to test something because I might be able to remove a uh, tent over there if we can easily get over there with the ATV like super quickly without running into too much stuff. I feel like it should be fine here. My only concern is that the water will explode our ATV because that happens on some maps. Mmm, I mean, that's taking a long time. Taking a long time to drive over here. I think we're better just leaving the other tent. Two forty-three is not bad, though. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, Caitlin with the gold badge now. That's the one-year badge. Holy... Holy, I didn't realize that. Wait, Caitlin, didn't you have a red badge earlier in the stream? Did you just get the gold badge upgrade? Did it just tick over? Holy, Caitlin's been here for exactly one year as a, as a uh, member. That's crazy. Bree recently hit the, uh, the 24 month mark. And I believe that, um... I believe KC recently hit the 24 month mark as well. Everybody's getting that badge upgrade. Rover's got the 24 monther now, too. Two males. Okay. Okay, yeah. This lake has three males in total now. Some of them are coming back. Some are coming back. Uh, we definitely have an extra three or four moose this run. You know you've been grinding too much when you know exactly how many extra moose have showed up or disappeared. Oh, no worries, Ian. No worries, man. Just being here is good enough. Hey, Raiden, how's it going? Hope you're doing good.
Is a piebald level 9 gator a super rare? Yes, that is a super rare. Um, I've always preferred 556, five, uh, Will. I'd like to get a, uh, a 7.62 AK at some point. To be honest, though, I'd probably be more likely to get a 5.45 AK if I ever do get one. Though, unfortunately, 5.45 is kind of hard to get in the U.S. nowadays. So that's a little sad. Nice, John. That's awesome. Level 59 and you got your first great one. That's actually like a pretty cool level to get it at because you're almost at max level, but just barely off. That that must have been really cool to get it before 60. This male's here. Bro, really? Ma'am, are you really going to do that to me? How rude. <laughs> okay. The oh, we got... Yep, the yep, we got that. We got whatever that is. Ah, I went for the next shot and it did a little bit of a movement before I shot. Yeah, that one's not going to die anytime soon. What date did I kill the fabled Ashen? I don't remember the actual day. I'd have to go back and find the stream. It's probably been close to three weeks at this point, maybe more. Actually, I could go check the trophy manager. Let's check the trophy manager. Okay, these are the mounts I made. Musik to my ear. So it was 328. March 28th is when I made it. Which means that would have been the day that I killed it as well. Because I made that mount the same day. So yeah, it's been, been about two weeks. Yeah, it's been about two weeks. A little bit less. What's in Moosic to my ears? It's my Great One Moose, and then it's also a random gold quail that we got to go with it. It's like a quail and moose multi-mount. Nothing there. Something tells me they're just late, though. Imagine we lose all the respawns. They just don't exist anymore. We'll try another reset, just see if it does anything. Okay, I guess they're just not respawned yet. Three, four, five. What the? Five here? Are they? They're all just coming down here. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five. My gosh, that's insane. I mean, I'll take it. That's awesome. That That is wonderful. Seeing all of the moose be right here. Oh, I was too high on that last one. That was a good little streak, though. We got three hard shots and then missed it on the fourth. He's going down, though. It definitely was a good shot, just not heart like I hoped. 
That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of uh that's a lot of moose in one zone. All our males are congregating here, which honestly is not bad because they're far enough, they're like spread apart enough to where it doesn't spook them when I shoot the first two. I'm able to shoot two and then I can wait for the other ones to give a good shot. I would be very happy if this is what we've got for the rest of our grind. If I can just grind, like I said, like four zones, or I guess four areas, that'd be awesome. Now where's our rares? We haven't had a rare in so long. That's the thing I'm most, uh, most concerned about right now. Besides the fact that our moose are disappearing, like, we haven't had a rare in, like, a thousand kills. What fur and rack do I want? I want either a fabled two-tone or a fabled birch with the, uh, typical rack or the giant non-typical rack. Preferably the typical, though, because it's the only rack that I don't have on a great one moose right now. But I really badly want that one. If I get that, my life will be complete. Okay, that zone's not there. There's the dead one. Angler tonight? Maybe, Daniel. Depends on how long I stream Call of the Wild. Um, I, I kind of feel like just having a relaxing night, because I've been doing double streams like the last week. I kind of feel like just, uh, taking it easy tonight. Especially since it's looking like this is going to be a pretty long moose grinding stream. Yeah, I think we need to introduce this lake into the grind. Possibly. We'll see, though. We will see. I might end up joining Brobra if he, if he does do something on stream, but I probably won't stream myself. Um, but... Depending on, like, if I, if I'm, like, recording, then I won't, but I might hop on for a little bit just to chill. Because it takes a lot of focus to be uh, looking at the chat all the time and also paying attention to what you're doing. Okay, nothing there. All right, bro, bro. I won't pass you up and get that legendary fish before you. Oh, uh, yeah, bro, bro. I mean, I just want to get my character leveled up more and earn some money, you know? I'm just going to do them daily challenges without you. You, you, you do what you want to do, bro, bro. I'll just get all those legendary or all those uh, challenges done so I can level up and get all the money for the good fishing gear. That's what I'll do. And now that we figured out how to get the uh, lake trout to bite again, I might just grind lake trout until I get all the stuff we need. That moose was behind a tree. So sad to see a little moosey behind a tree. Don't even log in tonight. Oh, you just wait, bro, bro. Just wait, sir. I'll tell you what. What is the game, Angler? It's called the Wild's Fishing Game. What do the lake trout bite? Um, I forgot exactly which one, but it's one of the, like, jigs. Brober might remember. I think he was there. Where's the blood? Where is the blood? Oh, it didn't even die. Yeah, there's there's no uh no reason to chase it. 
Jighead with worm. Oh yeah, the little brown worm. That's right. Couldn't remember which one. I knew it was one of the jigs. Um, I've never really, like, I don't really, like, regularly play with anybody, uh, Brandon. It's more of just, like, collaborations that I do with other creators. There's not really too many people I play with, like, in the content creator realm, like, regularly. Most of the time it's not, like, regular, like, just playing every day. It's usually just, like, for videos, right? Really, the only people I play with right now is, uh... Robra, and then uh, Nathan and Jebba and Ace and Chip and them, and then of course like my wife. Did I get? Okay, I got two of them. Good. I drew a blank. There was somebody else I was going to name off, but I drew a blank. Uh, yeah, RT. Actually, I already said Caitlyn. Alright, well, anyway. I can't remember what I was going to say, so let's just get back to smoking moose. What's my favorite hunting round in real life? Um, I mean, from what I've used, like, I, I've never actually got anything. Like, I've never actually got to shoot any big game. I got close a couple times, but never was able to seal the deal. So I don't really know, like, what is my favorite hunting round, because I feel like in order to have a favorite hunting round, you'd have to actually see how it performs in the field, right? And unfortunately, I've just never got anything. But, um... I got a feeling that out of all the guns I own, I'm probably going to end up liking this the 7mm Remington Magnum the best. I've got a uh, Browning BAR Mark II in uh, 7mm Remington Magnum, and I got a feeling that that thing is going to be an absolute monster against deer and elk and stuff like that. Because I know 7mm Rem Mag is a really awesome caliber. So I, I'm really eager to get out there and use that thing. I think it's going to be pretty sick. And of course, if I ever, uh, next time I go hunting, I will of course record it. And, uh, have a video of it for you guys. I don't know when that'll be though. It's a beast? Yeah, I kind of figured. That's one of the reasons I went with it. Uh, the main reason was because Browning BAR Mark IIs, they're like, they're really sought after rifles. And the fact that they had one in stock around here, and I was able to get it for a reasonable price, I couldn't pass it up because it's in insanely good condition. It's in such nice condition. And on top of it being the 7mm Rem Mag, I had to go with it. Like, I just couldn't pass it up. We got a 1300 pound moose with the 7 mil rem mag dropped it on the spot nice eric that's awesome yeah i it's definitely a beast of a cartridge now did call the wild model theirs after it i i can't remember is there is there just one is it just seven millimeter remington magnum or is there also a regular seven millimeter magnum i can't remember I know there's the 7mm Mod 8, but that's obviously different by quite a bit.
You use 308 for Whitetail and Moose IRL? Yeah, I'd like to get a 308 at some point. There is both? Okay, I thought there was both. I couldn't remember, like, if I was just making that up in my head or if there was both. I, I, I had swore that I had seen both. Because I know that my, my dad at one point had used a 7mm Magnum, but I don't think it was Remington Magnum. Little baby level 2 links. Adorable. Yeah, 7mm Mod 8 is a good round as well. Definitely is a good round still, but yeah, not quite as crazy as the Rem Mag. Hey, Triple Tine, how's it going? Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. The one thing that might stop me from posting IRL hunting content is YouTube's guidelines. That might come... That might become an issue. I might play it safe, and if I do go hunting, I might just post it on the second channel. Anyway, guys, uh, while I'm thinking of it... If you guys haven't already heard, uh, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with uh, Lady Legend soon, so probably I think we're going to record on Wednesday, which means that I'll have the video up either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. One of those three days. Not sure which one yet. There's a little level two there. Now, like this lake right here, it has some moose. It's not a lot of them though. It's just a couple, so I didn't hunt it. Because I didn't think it would be worth it with only a couple moose. But now that I'm thinking of it, maybe if I shoot the moose here, it'll move them over to my zones that I have been hunting. Maybe that's what I need to do. These could be solos for all I know. It's gotta die. There's no way it lives. Uh, Sloth, thank you so much for the, uh, membership, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. And then I think we're also going to go plop a tent there. Trying to think of another place that we can get rid of our, uh, setup at because it's just... Not worth it to keep some of these up if they're not going to be producing. This is still giving us some. We've got one that pops up down there. This one we need because we consistently get one there. We occasionally get one here. We might go check these lakes and just see what's popping over there. Yeah, YouTube is a wild one. It's unpredictable on what will get them mad. Connor, thank you so much for the super sticker. Much appreciated. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing amazing. Oh, we do have a mail back here. Well, what do you know? Please let me pick up the zone and it says three. Please let it say three. I mean, that's, that's not a regular zone track. Please say three. Two. Okay, so yeah. No mail back here yet. But this zone got one. Doing stuff like that, though. That's a little concerning. We got a possessed moose at this zone. Lovely. Amazing. Great to see. What do you do if you go to a zone and no moose are there? I mean, that's a very broad question, Meatball. I, I don't know. Because I don't know the context of it. Like... Did, did you delete the zone? Like, did they just not respawn there? Like, did, are they just late? Like, I don't know. That, that's a tough one to answer because I don't know the context. Yeah, just females over there. Yeah, the lake trout are amazing for XP. That's why I used to grind them a lot, and then they made changes to, uh, like, what they were attracted to. And, uh, I wasn't able to catch them when I came back until, uh, last night when we tried, when we finally figured out what they like. Got a pretty good gold one last night, too. I think it was, like, 30 pounds. 
It was either 29 or 30 pounds, so it wasn't too bad. It felt good to get back into lake trout fishing. I think lake trout are one of my favorite things in that entire game. The lake trout and then like the arctic char and obviously the bass fishing is great too. Uh, no, John, that's normal. You have to get the actual like zone tracks. So there's two different types of tracks. There's regular tracks from an individual animal. And then there's these that are just like a drink zone one. So that one says like drinking three. So it's a special type of track. You have these regular ones that just show like normal tracks and then these ones that look a little bit different. That's a drink zone track. All species have those as well. And they, it's always been a thing also. Is there a great one in Angler? There is no great one, but there is something called Legendaries. Jeez, Sloth, that's insane. So, what what is the key for the diamonds in uh, Angler? Is it just using the proper, like, bait to where it's... Or the proper lure to where it's big enough to where the small ones won't bite? I know that was a strategy for a while when, I, when it first came out. Like, people were... They just go with like the biggest lures to where only diamond lake trout would bite on it. And uh, I think at that point it's just being at the right place, right time. Or is there like specific spots where they just naturally produce more diamonds or just have more fish in general giving you more chances at diamonds? Like what is the, the meta for that? Because I've been trying to figure out what I need to do. Should I just be finding the honey holes or should I just be going with big lures and kind of fishing everywhere? Mmm, missed the hard shot. No. Hit him three times, though. That'll make up for it. <laughs> that doing my jigging that was the doing last night. Caught like 30 lake trout, and I think it only got silvers. Got you. Sounds about right, Tony. Oh yeah, I saw that one, uh, bro, bro. Biggest lure, drop it down around 200 feet. Reel it at one speed. Jig it while reeling in. Okay, appreciate it, Sloth. I will definitely give that a try. I will definitely give that a try. Is the angler worth buying? Uh, if you want a little bit of a faster paced fishing game than a lot of the ones on the market and something that's just like Easy to pick up and play at any time, jump on with friends and just have fun. Something very similar to the Hunter Call of the Wild in terms of pacing, then I definitely recommend it. If you're looking for a realistic fishing simulator, then it's probably not the best option, but if you want something that's faster paced and more action packed, then it's a good fishing game. Plus, it's fully open world with a massive map like the Hunter Call of the Wild, which adds quite a bit to it as well. That's probably my favorite aspect is just being able to fish anywhere. Like, it, I probably had more fun doing that, just like hump, hopping on with a uh, couple friends and driving around the map, just finding spots that we've never fished and testing them out. That is honestly so much fun. Uh, yeah, Rob, it's still good even without friends because you can join multiplayer and then just fish around with random people too. There's no way to mess up other people's fishing. So like, everybody's fish are their own fish. You can't spook other people's fish, so. You can just fish with other people and have fun that way if you'd like as well. And you can play solo too. Like I said, if you like a faster paced fishing game, then it's pretty fun. I was just adding on that it is a lot of, fr a lot of fun with friends. We should be able to shoot through that tree. Yep, because it was a wobbly boy. Wobbly boy trees you can shoot through, non-wobbly boy trees you can't shoot through. We're starting to figure that out. It's the wobbly boys that let you th shoot through them. The wobbly wobblies. Can I place a tent? No, okay. I want to get another tent over here. Starting to realize that it's probably more beneficial to have it. Actually, maybe the ATV is better now that I think of it. Because we usually have to drive the ATV anyway to get to the ones that are over here. 
Do you think they'll ever add a Great One Bird? Uh, maybe. I, I think if they do, they'd have to make it easier to find. And I imagine they would probably add more than one in an update just to make it worth the uh, time. Because a lot of people might write a Great One Bird off as just not being worth an update. And so I, I, I'd say if they ever do a bird great one, they'll probably add a couple of them in one update. And they'd have to make them a little bit easier to get than other great ones, because it's... It can be hard to get a lot of birds down, unless it's... Unless it's waterfowl. Waterfowl are easier to get. But still, I, I do think they'd have to make it more common. Do you think they'll... Okay, I already read that, actually. Did you miss anything, Luke? Yes, you did. A diamond and a couple of trolls. How many trolls have we had today, guys? Has it been two? I think it's been two trolls. I think it was two trolls and one diamond. Let me know if I'm wrong there. I think it was just one diamond and two trolls. All right, let's hit up that main menu. Hello there, little white tail. And I do mean little. Y'all are tiny. Yeah, they do troll a quite a lot, Meatball. I'd say they do troll a bit too often. But to be fair, I think level 5 moose spawn more than some other level 5s, so I guess it's okay if they troll more because I see more 5s in general. Apricali great one, that could be interesting. I mean, if they were going to do a bird great one, Capricali would be one of my top choices, I gotta say. What time is it over there? It's 5.34 p.m. I guess we didn't kill that one last time. He's back. Oh, man. Unfortunate that we didn't kill him last time. Hey now, let me on there. All right. Uh, Wyatt, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, the scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Love the video earlier. My favorite part was when Brobra got mauled by a caribou. <laughs> yeah. Poor Brobra. He gets hit by everything, I swear. He gets run over by everything in these games. That's crazy that it was a five that ran him over, though. Like, what are the odds? What are the odds, man? Male? One male. This, like, went from being, like, so insane with, like, seven or eight males to just having, like, two to three. It's crazy. Absolutely wild. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, actually, one of the next episodes we're going to do for Uncut Hunts is going to be talking about stuff that we would like to see in the game that does have a chance of being added. Uh, today's episode was stuff that we'd like to see or that would be cool but would probably never happen. And so the next episode will most likely be stuff that we want to see in the game that could actually happen.
Moosey. Hello. Just one male. Very unfortunate. Oh, definitely Lando. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, same Nicholas. That's why that's why it was in the video. Like it's something I think would be really cool. I I just don't think they'd add it. For like ethical reasons. And because it's just not really used that much in real life, just due to how expensive that gun is in the first place. But it would be cool, I can't lie, it'd be cool. I right, later, Duck. Thank you for dropping by as always. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you are doing phenomenal. I hope you have a good night. How many moose have I shot? Uh, in this stream? A lot. A lot. We've been streaming for 3 hours and 42 minutes, and I think I only took like a 20 minute break for lunch, so... I'd say we probably killed like, let's see, one fifty. We probably killed like a hundred and sixty-five moose. If I were to take a guess, probably a hundred and sixty-five. Uh, one of them was a diamond. Two of them were trolls. That's been an interesting uh, day. Still no rares. I don't get what we're doing wrong. We haven't got a rare in like a thousand kills. That is insane. Our last rare was like a hundred kills into this grind and it was a small melanistic. Haven't had anything since then. Which is mind blowing. I think we've had like nine diamonds throughout the like 1200 kills. This has been a very uh, weird grind. Oh, is that is that a male? No, that's a female. This zone is still two. Okay, there's no males here then. Level three. No, we haven't got the great one yet, Pancake. Unfortunately, it still eludes us. Nice, Rascal. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Got two piebalds, nice uh, BT. Wish I could get some piebalds to show up, man. They just don't want to. Piebalds hate me. I mean, I don't blame them. I'd shoot them if I saw them. So I, I could see why the rares don't want to spawn because they know it's the end for them. They're like, we'll send out the commons. Sometimes viral. Sometimes it does. Other times it just puts it on the shore. It seems kind of weird. It's never like a... It never does it identical two times, it seems. Oh, there we go. There's a four. Nice. What would I like the next map to be? I got a few options I'd really like to see. Texas Game Ranch, Australia, Africa 2.0, and British Columbia. I think the order I'd like to see them in would be... 
probably Texas Game Ranch number one, Africa 2.0 number two, uh, Australia number three, and then British Columbia number four. That'd be like my order. And then number five? I don't even know. I don't know what I would want as my fifth potential one to fully flesh out a top five. I mean, any type of jungle map. I don't care what type of jungle map. Just some type of map based in a jungle would be awesome. What's well, a Texas game ranch? So there is ranches in Texas and a lot of other places, but Texas is most known for having like the most impressive ones where essentially they just raise animals there that aren't typically found in the U in the United States. So like a bunch of different like African antelope species like red deer, um, axis deer, things like that. They have all that type of stuff. They have a bunch of exotic species and you can pay to hunt there essentially. You can pay to hunt exotic species that normally you couldn't find in the US. And Texas is known for having like the, some of the biggest game ranches that have like uh, the most land and isn't necessarily I guess along the same lines of what people would consider high fence like it still is but it's a much more expansive like vast open area like the ranches are huge and they house some of the most uh, exotic species that you normally can't get in the states. But for a lot of people, it's the only way they'll be able to hunt for something like, uh, let's say like a Gemsbach. A lot of people can't afford to go to Africa and go through all the process of going there. Like, I believe you got to get a lot of different shots. You have to obviously have a passport and all that and all, all that type of stuff to be able to travel to Africa and actually go on a hunt there. And so for a lot of people, like going to Texas is much more feasible. And so there's game ranches that have a lot of exotic species. Nice little four there. Only one though. Oh, that's a male's tracks. Oh yeah, we got two out here now. Beautiful. Still not as many as we have been having. Ah, missed it. Thought we had that hard shot. Die already, you silly moose. You've heard of silly goose, but now you've heard of silly moose. I thought I saw more over there. It's just the females. I don't play 2K, uh, ML. I don't play uh, any sports games, actually. Let's see if we can get this herd to pop in. Oh, there's some fleeing whitetail. The grind is hard, it is. It is tough indeed. Especially with how the moose grind kind of just like constantly changing. Like that's the first time I've seen a solo male there. That's really weird. We haven't had a solo male there like ever. It's just been the, uh, the herd there. Unless the females just haven't rendered in. Oh, that is what it was. Oh, wait, no. Again. 
That was a solo. And there's the one that's part of the herd. I'm telling you, the moose grind does some weird things. It does some weird things, I tell you. Two more moose down. Beautiful. That's pretty insane for Black Bear Nighthawk. I, I don't know what the least kill count is for uh, for Black Bear, but that's definitely got to be one of the lowest. Yeah, Dark Gemsbok is rare. I uh, know I don't play that either, Steve. I own Elden Ring, but I've never played it. I just haven't had the time to jump into it. I, I already have so many games that I play right now. It's like I'm always playing like other games that I don't really have time to play a lot of single player games besides Call of the Wild. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. We have been going for almost four hours and shot probably like 170 moose. One diamond, two trolls on the day, zero rares, zero great ones. But I think we made good progress today. Thank you guys for being here. We will be back uh, tomorrow with some more content as always. Possibly a video, not sure yet if I'll be able to get one recorded, but for sure a live stream. Uh, so until then, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!